All right, let's do it. Let's play Resident Evil 4. Resident Evil 4. Everybody's seen this cutscene. I don't who cares. I just need to shoot a guy. Alright, remember the first one but a saddle is and then I, that's it. Uh this controls like ass on PC. Is it controller? No, why would I use the controller? I'm just ruining this. All right, that's it. There it is. Thanks everybody for watching. Appreciate it. There it goes. Okay. Hope you enjoyed yourself. All right. How about three? I'll do at least three. Wooden how to stare those. What does that mean? What is that? Why is the mouse not turning the character? Does anybody remember what to do? All right, where's the dog? Where's the dog? I'm coming. <laughs> Click, 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 click. Okay. You're saved. Watch out for those. All right, cool. Nice. Now, you know, if those of you that never played this game before, that dog, if you save that dog, he comes and he helps you during a boss battle. This is making me sick. This is actually making me sick. There's two. <laughs> okay. Two. Oh, that was close. Nope. That one doesn't count. That one doesn't count. That was not un farastero. That was un farastero. It wasn't the same. You're gonna die anyways. You think I'm gonna die on easy in Resident Evil 4? If I die before the third un I will I will give 5,000 subs to the channel. Somebody say it. Somebody, somebody say it. Holy shit, they all said the same line. That's not even possible. What? <laughs> Why are you doing this? Say it. Say it. Yes. How many people am I triggering right now with how I'm using the weapon? Alright, if I don't kill this person, if I don't hit this person with a direct headshot, and when not kill, if I do not hit this person directly in the head with a shotgun headshot, I will give 10,000 subs to the channel. So easy, but holy fuck. Oh my god, I fucking messed it up. Holy shit, this is too hard. This is actually hard to do. Thank God! Holy shit! <laughs> That's fifty thousand dollars. Holy shit! I, my credit card can't even charge that much money a day. Okay, do you see right there? If that was still going on, I wouldn't. I would have to give ten thousand subs. Do you see how that was kind of in the ear? Holy shit, I got her I got her right in the nose, like right in the forehead. Holy shit. Can you imagine if you think they did that, that little like shimmy? Stop gambling. <laughs> That's not gambling. I don't what do I get from that? That's just losing. Ah, <sighs> church. They're very holy people. What a start to a video game. What a fucking start.
What the hell? Where's everyone going? Bingo? <laughs> yes. <laughs> they sold this jacket for a while. So you could buy Leon's jacket. Which is almost as cool as the Blade Runner jacket that Ryan Gosling wore. Almost. I mean, what are you even eating? Scum? You can still buy it for 140 bucks on Amazon. What, Leon's jacket? It does look cool. God. Alright, thanks for watching, everybody. We're done with the stream for today, but I hope you enjoyed it. it. Wasn't even worth it. Sometimes you get an egg, and sometimes you get a golden egg. So, obviously, they're all at mass because they're very pious. They give tithings to the Church of Satan, or whatever they're worshipping. You'll find out later in the game. Find the blue metal? I don't remember where it is. Is there one here? I think you get a weapon for getting all the medals. The chimney on the roof of the shotgun building. Oh, you can eat a fat cock! So, sadly I have to do this again. But, you know, I got this. And here we are again. Now you know what has to be done. Got him. Oh, I tried to do the kick. Couldn't get close enough. Or I didn't stagger. Oh, Leon! Jesus. Gotta run. Gotta run. I'd love to stay, but I got a jet. It's hard to know exactly when to, uh, kick! Dirty pearl pendant. Vinny, you soiled it. Wait, isn't- isn't there a way to... Wait a minute, isn't- isn't there a way to, um, clean the pendant? There it is. There it is. That was a literal soil. God, Leon, please. Man, the atmosphere in this game is still on point. I told you about that atmosphere. Oof. Man, I forgot how fucking shaky Leon is. Um, for anyone who's just joining, welcome to Resident Evil 4. We had a couple hitches. You know, there was some crashing. I, I, man, I really hope it doesn't crash again. But this is the HD project, which is made by a bunch of fans who actually retextured most of the of the game, upped the um, model count, like the um, polygons and the models, like increased a number of different things that looked kind of poopy, and essentially creating a version of Resident Evil 4 that looks good in 1080p. This was done by only two people. Are you serious? This is only two people did the whole game? That's crazy. This has been in the works for like five years. It's that long? Well, again, a lot of these textures are actually photographs, like the same um, techniques that Capcom did. And um, I'm sure they took artistic liberty with a number of, uh, of other textures and things just to keep kind of consistent with the, the tone and visual style of the game. So I'm pretty happy with the work they did. It's amazing. I just wish it was fucking stable. They're photographs of the exact same locations the original dev team used based as base for their textures. No shit! I guess they went to Spain. Yeah, that's one of the things I learned. But I didn't know they did that for that many of the textures. I had no idea they put this much work into it. Well, can I get behind there? Oh, here it is. Okay. One of the two guys lives in Spain. Most were the most of the textures were sampled from. Oh, okay, I see. Sorry, I can't read today. Did you know that if you try to read too quickly, you start skipping over words and getting other words wrong? But if you slow yourself down and you read, 
it's not so bad. Crazy, right? Another thing is, too, expectation. Not everyone in chat uses perfect grammar, I know. I couldn't believe it either. But... There are times where I'm just expecting... Like, fucked up sentences like I would type in a chat room. Vinny, what do you think about frogs with facial hair? Excuse me? Vinny, have you ever considered growing a mustache like Maryip? Mayrip. So remember what I said before about perfect grammar? It's not just the grammar, it's also... Frogs with mustaches... Or sorry, frogs with facial hair and me growing a Mayrip mustache. It's very strange topics of discussion. So now that's a permanent HP increase with the yellow herb. Yes, we say herb in America. And not herb. Sorry, Brits. But when I was in grade school, if you were a herb, you were, like, really uncool. If you were a sick herb, no one would talk to you. You, you would- the last thing you wanted to be was a sick herb. Oh yeah, this is the beginning of QTEs, I forgot to tell you. If anyone's never played this and you hate QTEs, you can blame this game. <laughs> Thanks! I gotta do through a fucking stick of dynamo. Whoa! It's gonna explode in his hand. Yes! Remove spiders from all locations, please. Thank you. Alright, so... Check this out. So you can combine certain items with this beer stein and other items to make it more valuable. When you do eventually get to the point where you can buy stuff, the beer stein with all the cat's eyes in it equals very lot of money. Very lot. Ah. Oh. A little rough, don't you think? There he is. You're not like them? No. You? Okay. I have only one very important question. Got a smoke? You got a smoke? <laughs> got gum. Perfect. The big cheese. What? So cheesy. This game does such a good job at straddling the line between, let me finish my sentence, cheese and uh, unsettling. I used to be a cop myself. Only for a day, though. How are you speaking when I your lips aren't moving then. properly, Leon? Oh! Now. Right. You know what's gonna happen? I'm gonna put my controller down during the cutscenes, and bad things are gonna happen. A lot. Oh man, Leon lost his jacket. Got something that might interest you. <laughs> Got a selection of good things on sale, stranger. So this is the merchant. His existence is never explained. He just has lots of weapons. And he's... that's him. Don't know if you've noticed, stranger, but did you see the blue medallions hanging in? Hanging around in the village? Come back when you've shot ten or more of them. Got a specialized gun I want you to try out. What are you buying? What are you selling? Oh! Ah! Now's a good time to use this. So I can get that HP increase. As well as full HP. I like when the Ganados kill their own people. That's fun. <laughs> The amount of force applied did not equal the amount of force that dude's body flew away from me with. Yeah, this music is painfully loud. Whoa, lucky son of a bitch that I am. 
Oh, run, Leon! Run, Leon! Holy God. Holy God. Fuck. That was a cock up. Like, I'm really surprised I'm still alive after all of that, but all of my healing is now gone. It's really not great. Vappy, you might have to take a look at some of the earlier portions of the stream. Because there were some crashes. There was some troubleshooting. There were some restarts. Why do you guys want to keep that in the video? It's like it slows down every... everything. Immersion. That's not a good enough reason. It was funny. Yeah, but think about how many people would be like, Oh man, I can't wait to watch Vinny's Resident Evil 4 stream. I'm so excited to check out this stream that he he's going to stream. Oh, he's, he's got a graphics mod. It looks really good. I'm excited to check this out. Crash. Oh. Crash. Oh. I mean, the more intrepid of my viewers will realize that they have a mouse that they can just, like, skip past that part. But I guarantee you there's gonna be a number of people that just stop watching because they're watching from their bed or whatever and, like, you know, it just auto-plays. So, I'd say at least three people are gonna just not watch the stream because of that. At least three. Maybe four. Uh, what am I doing with this? It's fucking massive. I mean, considering I don't have any other food at the moment, it's worth it. I would think shooting the brass pocket watch might make it worth less than letting it dip into scum for a brief moment that you can then clean off with, I don't know, leaves or like a rag or... But, you know, I don't- I don't really know about antiques and stuff. I just will never understand why these... Resident Evil villains... ...lock their doors with shadow puppets and, like, color puzzles. Just get a key. Really, Leon? I was hoping we could read all the books. This isn't Skyrim, you mean? Benny, what you talk the religion. <laughs> This game gets very culty and religious, so expects a little bit more. If you become unpleasant to our eyes, you'll face severe consequences. Mm. Do you know that we ground up beavers and put it in your bloodstream? Yes. <laughs> I, I love that cutscene so much. Ada Wong with the camouflage. And that's a totally missable cutscene. You you would go through this whole game and not know that, that was there. If you just didn't turn around and click on the door. See ya And that's what happens when you find a stranger in the Alps. The rifle reload animation is weird. Like, every reload animation is 60 frames a second except the rifle. It's just so bizarre. I might- I, and again, I might only be streaming this 60 FPS for today. Because the- if anyone's just joining, 60 FPS fucks with the cutscenes. The kneecaps should be, like, fucking shattered. There's no way you're gonna be able to stand back up! When are we going to make a Vine Borglar emote? You know, there have been some attempts, and they've been gloriously shitty in the same way Vine Pisses is shitty. But I've been hesitant to make it official, because I kind of like the fact that it is the shittiest thing in the world. And I feel like making it official would encourage me to do it more, and encourage more to do it more, and others. So, I don't know. I, I've been hesitant about it. I, I don't want to encourage that kind of behavior. Bob posting is strictly prohibited here on Vine Sauce. 
Apparently piss posting is just fine though. Get some priority stuff I need to work out. Man, I hate to do this, but I, I have to go down to 30 frames a second. That's the only way we're gonna get cutscenes that look decent. If you weren't here last time, this game is not optimized for 60 frames a second, and so the cut cutscenes suffer, and then a lot of other things suffer too. Shame. You know, I care about these things. I think about these things frequently. That's not so bad. I mean, you'll get used to it. The human eye will get used to it, because the human eye does not perceive beyond three frames a second anyway. I can't tell you how happy I am to be playing Resident Evil. This is a really... both fun and nostalgic game for me. Oh, and, um... Someone made an image. I don't know who made this, but thank you. I disabled all the tablet shit, so if this crashes, I'm gonna blame Satan. Someone's here? Why is the music happening? Why is there spooky music? I say the word Satan, and then that happens. Oh man, I remember this cave the first time I played through this game, I was like... I was expecting... the scariest, spookiest shit. That's my favorite guy. Gotta double tap boxes just in case... a snack. <laughs> it's so anticlimactic, I love it. And so, and so incredibly unrealistic. That's the beautiful thing about the Resident Evil series, but this one in particular. You know, there's such a weird contrast between how, like, spooky and creepy it can be, and how silly it can be. And there's like a realism to this game... ...that just gets demolished. I fucking love it. I just don't remember Leon being so goddamn shaky. I don't remember how to do this puzzle. I think it, you have to form... Um, you, you gotta form the, the thing. Oh no. Oh no, it's a puzzle. Oh god, everyone duck and cover, it's a puzzle. Do I have to light all of them? You have to light them all up, okay. That's Japes. It is Japes. You do have to make the shape. Alright. Vinny, I've completed this game five times. Vine Sauce asks the chat for help yet again. Why are people typing DMZ? DMV. Alright, welcome to the New York Department of Motor Vehicles. How can I help you? Please wait in line for an hour and a half while I look up my computer screen. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. No, not yet. Not yet. Okay. I have to get that one. That one needs to go. Good, yes. Oh. Oh, man. <laughs> it's a bit of an overkill. You only need 10, but if you get all of them, you get an upgraded pistol. I thought that was a crash. Once he does, there will be nobody else left that will come looking for the girl. Nobody? It's the president's daughter, man. Nobody? It's incredibly presumptuous. I love the bad guy trope of them just leaving letters around with their entire plan. In some random place, too. Like, who- who was that, you know, directed to? Who- who was reading that? You know, I'm gonna sell the handgun, but I'm- I'm gonna use the Punisher. Thank you. But really, I'm just waiting for the goddamn Red Nine. The Red Nine is the shit. Hey, did you know that the word Glock sounds like another word? Glockenspiel, which is an instrument. And schlock. <laughs> Why do these birds all have gold? So crows, like, find shinies and, and they hoard them. 
I didn't know that. See, I learn so much from the chat sometimes. A lot of it has to do with, like, anime fetishes, but, you know, sometimes I get, like, some really interesting things. There's enough weapons here to start a small war. If this was Metal Gear, it would go into a cutscene showcasing, like, guerrilla warfare, you know, over, over the years, and, like, various organizations and PMCs funding the wars. I guess this is the merchant's actual, like, base. You know, this is the main place for the merchant. You know, dude's got, like, a secret cave. Boats probably come here, um, for purchase and selling. I mean, he's all over the fucking place, but I mean, I have a theory it's all, like, you know, zombie clones, uh, baby clone sister daughter, <laughs> like in Chrono Cross. Or, the dude just knows all the shortcuts. Like, there's a series of cave systems. Oh, shit! Whoa! If this was Resident Evil 6, and Chris Redfield was here, Chris would not run from the rock. He would just punch it into fucking orbit. Like, I don't even feel like I've played Resident Evil 6. It feels like a fucking fever dream. And my boy Leon is in that. I mean, he had the best chapter, but... I mean... <laughs> how good is... is the best chapter? In Resident Evil 6, really. It's two... two bullets wasted on a fucking snake. See, again, the kick does not always... Like, I'm waiting for the kick prompt, and it's not happening. There it is. Oh, it's gonna be like a really heavy stagger. Every headshot will be a kick, or legs. Okay, well, oh, no, those were headshots, but they're just, they're just dead. There you go, okay. There you go. That's the kick I know. That's what I want. I mean, it's not Resident Evil 6, where I can, like, slide around and fucking stab people in the knees until they fucking have exploding kneecaps, but it's close enough. That was the funniest shit. Resident Evil 6... I have a really, really early video on my main channel called Resident Evil 6, and it's just me sliding around at the speed of sound. Slicing at people's kneecaps. It... it is a very silly game. Look at that! Oh, the dude behind me got some of that. So here's this cool lake. Nothing really going on over here. Just some fish. What's that shaking? <laughs> First time I played this. <laughs> I did exactly that without knowing what was what was to happen. I jumped. I created the Otacon piss stain. Infinite harpoon. Thank you, Jesus. Leon's leg is just dislocated now. Like, he's gonna need a hip replacement. And there's no good reason why that boat is still floating, but... I guess it's the Leon magic. They've deployed what is called an El Gigante, so God bless. El Gigante is just, like, the village dude with the big dong. You know, when it's a small village in the middle of nowhere, everyone knows everything about everybody. Or is it Gigante? El Gigante. Is it? El Gigante. Okay... El Gigante. El Gijón. El Gigante. Oh, okay. El Gigante. That's better. 
Alberto kind of sucks. Diego's where it's at. El Gigante. El Gigante. It's like a music to it. More human than human. Yeah, this is the secret merchant. This might be... How did he get from the other one to here? This one's also fucking... stacked. Oh, hello. So, here are the things I see in chat. I see like a 90% shoot him, uh, 8% don't shoot him, and 2% eat his ass. So I want you to think about the quality of the chat. Oh yeah, this happens. You know what it does? It goes like this, it goes... So yeah, I thought Spore was alright, but it's just, again, uh, a game that didn't live up to the hype, and... I got, like, 30 hours out of it that I thought were... were cool. Maybe 25, 30. And then I played it later and made, like, dick creatures and stuff. Because if you got Spore and you didn't make a dick creature, then I don't know what the fuck is your problem. <laughs> Someone said, I'm not 12. Then why are you watching the stream? I don't know who I just fucking burned. The entire audience or that one dude? All right, bye everyone. Just alienated my entire audience. That is impressive. Wow, that that is an impressive burn. And myself too. Jesus. Oh my god. I got everyone, myself included. So yeah, then there's this. You know, it's the fucking ogre from Lord of the Rings, or it's a, tro a troll, rather. You know, you play the game. And go through it, you're killing dudes, it's getting spooky. It looks like a realistic game. And then... And then this. <laughs> yeah, it is a Hinox, isn't it? Dog! Dog bird! It's that dog. Dog, save! No, Leon, you are not getting up from that. Oh, this is stupid. Oh. Oh, he's troubleshooting. Oh. oh never mind, I'm not gonna watch this guy plus Resident of Level. I don't know why that particular person is Napoleon Dynamite, but... You wanna hear a sad reality? Here's a sad reality. My memories of Napoleon Dynamite and Chrono Trigger are now intertwined. Because the first time I saw that movie, I was playing through Chrono Trigger DS. And then I saw it again while playing through Chrono Trigger DS as well, because it was on HBO a lot. And, and like, I would like to watch movies, you know, while I was playing my DS. And it was always fucking Napoleon Dynamite at that time. Don't know. It's just... So... I mean, I guess you could pity me if you want, but... That's a really divisive movie. That's one of those movies you love or you hate. I think it's cool. I like it. I don't- I don't love it. I don't have, like, really strong feelings about it like some people do, but I do think it's fucking hilarious at times. And some of it's just way too dry and stupid. But then again, I don't live in fucking Utah. Or wherever. I don't live in, like, a flat, middle of nowhere, nothing. Which I think is what the director said, that was the joke. The joke is that that's, like, a very specific type of, like, people that is in the middle of nowhere. And I don't know how true that is, because I've never been there, I, I don't live there, but... Yeah. It's in Wyoming? Oh, sorry. Generalization? Sure, yes. Of course. That's like saying, oh, hey, how you doing? Oh, all New Yorkers like bagels and pizza! Same thing. But, you know, I get that all the time. That and the Italian thing. Oh, I guess you like pizza, you like you're in the mob, uh, hey, oh, yo, oh, oh, hey! All the time. Bada bing, bada boom, eat a dick, fuck you! Ah! Doggo! 
You know, I'm just now realizing how influenced from the movie The Thing this game is. Why have I not realized this previously, you may ask? Because I hadn't seen The Thing until a couple of years ago. Especially the doggo. Was that an actual spook? It actually kind of was a bit, because I was in the middle of a conversation. Well, I say conversation, I was making Italian noises. But... The spook came from the fact that I did not expect the dogs to explode into fucking tentacles. <laughs> I totally forgot that that was the thing that was going to happen. Now everyone is linking their clips. There's like... 40 clips... from 40 different people of the same moment. All trying to get the one. The one that gets the most views. So they can get that badge. It's amazing what people will do for a little cluster of pixels. Okay, this church looks awesome for the retexture. That looks so good. With the uh, resolution increase and the retexture and the lighting. <sighs> That's what's up. Why does Leon Don't still count. have the wrong gun? Hey, take it easy. No! Get away! Calm down. You think Ashley Everything could have maybe said something else? Fine. Okay, so Ashley uh, you have to escort Ashley. And it can get a little annoying, but the cool thing about it is during most of the big fights that you have to do. First of all, Ashley isn't in tow the whole game. But during some of the more intense fights, you can have Ashley uh, hide in a dumpster. <laughs> I'm not going to say that's where she belongs. But I'm not. I'm not going to say it. Also, here's a cool feature. She ducks. So it's pretty good. For an escort quest thing, it's not too bad. My name is Osman Sadler, the master of this fine religious community. What do you want? The fuck? To demonstrate to the whole world our astounding power, of course. No longer will the United States think Holy they shit, can this is the Jarl's the voice. Forever. So, we kidnap the president's daughter in order to give her our power and then send her back. No. The president's daughter belongs to the Nords. Is it the same voice actor? Leon. Has to be, right? They shot something in my neck. What did you do to her? We just planted it is. her a little gift. Oh, there's going to be one hell of a party when she returns home to her loving father. <laughs> but before that, I thought I might bargain with the president for some donation. Believe it or not, <laughs> it takes quite a lot of money to keep this church up and running. Faith and money will lead you nowhere, Sadler. Oh, the script. Oh, I oh. believe I forgot to tell so you good. that we gave you the same gift. When I was unconscious. Oh, I truly hope you like our small but special contributions. When the eggs hatch, you will become my puppets. Involuntarily, you'll do as I say. I'll have total control over your minds. Don't you think this is a revolutionary way to promulgate one's faith? Sounds more like an alien invasion if you ask me. <laughs> <laughs> Just give him guns. Why are you giving him fucking crossbows and flaming arrows? Flaming bolts. You okay? The Leon, church can afford the guns. What's gonna happen to us? Don't worry. We got into this mess. We can get out of it. My name. M my name is Emperor Palpatine. Spain belongs to the Nords. The Nords guy voiced 61 characters in Skyrim. I mean, it's not surprising considering what ob Oblivion sounded like. Welcome. Got some rare things on sale. What are you buying? There it is. The Red Nine. It's the good shit. That is the good shit. Time to uh, sell the Punisher. Ah, 
<laughs> the guy you. fucking give it to me for free. I'm boy. selling it back to him. Ah, a choice of an avid gun collector. It's a nice gun stranger. There's another pistol, the black tail. It's really fast. When you fully upgrade it, thing is like. Is that all? I'm getting the upgrades. Is that all? Is that? Thank you. Fuck yeah. Come back. Is that all? Me time. Meat. I need some me time, Leon. What are you selling? I feel like you're always on me. You're always Is judging old? me. <laughs> Thank. What have I ever done to you, stranger? I like the reload too. Nope, just me again, stranger. Wrong way. Ah, oh, how nice to see you again. Do you want me to open my robe? You can check out the weapons I've got. Best get out the way. Oh, really, dude? The VA for Ashley is the VA for Sandy from SpongeBob. <laughs> wow. Man, there's a lot of fucking uh, weird coincidences here. Well, not coincidences, really, but interesting connections. You got a Skyrim connection. The merchant is Leon's voice actor. Voice actors don't just act Who's once. I guarantee you that's not true. I guarantee there are several voice actors in video game history that have only voice acted once. John Marston, for example. Oh, in general, yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, they gotta work, they gotta feed their family. But there's some dudes that are just like... You know, part of the dev team that just got the role because they were there. They were in the office and they were cheap. Okay, let's get ready to move your pingors. Gordon Freeman's voice actor. Never again voice acted. I mean, he didn't voice act for Gordon Freeman either, but... You know, he didn't before or after as well. Hilarious. I know. Hey guys, I have a good thought exercise for all of us. Let's go through some of the ways that Valve could totally fuck up Half-Life 3. Here's one. Gordon Freeman talks, and there are cutscenes that zoom the camera out and do, like, cinematics. It takes place in Afghanistan, circa 2003. To 2008, you know, when every other game of the past decade and a half took place. So it's like, um... Yeah, it's like modern warfare. There's iron sights, and you have to do a cover system in order to not take damage. And it's a battle royale, of course. You know what's cool about this game? It's got a very isolated, like, story. It's its own story. It's not like Resident Evil 6 fan service. I mean, it feels like Resident Evil, but it's also doing its own thing. I really like that. Oh, well, yeah, Ada is, of course, you know, one of those things that brings us back. Someone said Resident Evil 5 is worse than 6. Chat is dumb. Oh, is that an objective opinion you found there? That's cool. I don't know. I mean, you know, sometimes it's hard to find those objective truths. I hate to say this, but I disagree. I think 6 is worse than 5. 5 was, was at least fun co-op. 5 was more of this, and, and, you know, it was over the top and wacky, and it tried to do political intrigue in a way that was stupid. But it was fun, still. If you don't play 5 co-op, I would not recommend playing Resident Evil 5. But if you play it co-op, you might have a good time. 
Six was just an action movie with Resident Evil. And it was it was dumb fun. I mean, it was playable. It was shootable. Here's the thing I remember most about Resident Evil 6. It dragged. I mean, it was it was unintentionally funny, but it dragged on and on and on. Don't do it, Ashley. It just kept going and going. Can you suplex in this game? <laughs> no, I don't think you can suplex. Can you? I don't remember being able to suplex in this game. I think that's Resident Evil 6. Oh, you can? Later you can suplex? Nice. But can you punch rocks until they die? That's the real question. Leon does not have the same arms as Chris Redfield. Yeah, if you work out enough, you can easily punch rocks to death. If I told you I wasn't necessarily trying to shoot him in the dick, would you believe me? I was just trying to land the shot. And- and the- the laser pointer just found its way there. Accidentally. Well... I see that the president's equipped his daughter with ballistics, too. How rude! Yep. And I don't believe there's any relevance with my figure and my standing. Who are you? Yep. <gasps> Look! Ashley, upstairs! Okay. Whoops. Oh shit, I went too far. This is the original Call of Duty Zombies. Oh my god. Really? A stray tentacle. Oh, that's a crazy fucking way to die like that. These, these enemies are so spongy, like Gene Simmons' cock. I guess there's a lot of new people here that aren't aware of the Gene Simmons' spongy cock meme. Vintage. Leon, are you okay? Yeah, I'm alright, kind of. Upstairs. I shot that fucking tentacle, uh, several times, too. Several. What the fuck? <laughs> Spin! Can we go upstairs now, Lewis? This is getting pretty rough. Oh my god. Yeah, you okay? Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. I owe you one, Leon. The floor should be fucking gone. Wow, there was still that many more of them, too. Looks like they're backing off. So, what do we do now? Is there anyone left the in this town? I love that part. It's so fucking cool. It, it's really... It's really good. There's a tension. Because you just don't know when it's going to end, and it ends just in time. And I mean, the fact that I got killed twice... I mean, that's kind of encouraging. It means it was difficult. The merchant was watching this whole time. I can't get over how good this looks. I, I know I've been saying this- okay, well, Leon going through a window. Like, his torso going through the window, maybe not. But... Oh wait, Ashley? Look at Ashley waiting patiently for Leon. Where are you going, Leon? How are you that loud? You're that far. She's just waiting, that's like fucking exorcist shit. Yeah. That was the scariest part of the whole game so far. You know, when the camera gets like this, some shit's about to go down. Oh, man. Also, wouldn't it have been nice to get Leon's jacket back real early, Leon! and then you could, like, choose? Alright, Ashley. Alright. I got it. I got it, Ashley. Ashley, 
The real problem here is that Leon dies, too. Oh, no! Yeah, I'm sure that's gonna hurt it. Y you may as well just crush my spine. It's fine. Just leave Ashley alone and we'll be alright. I can't put her in a dumpster, but later on you can do that. Whoa, what the fuck? Yo, he dropped her. Follow me. Come on, come on, come on, come on, run! Yes, go through the legs! It seems I had gone the wrong way. I thought, I thought the Al Gigante was going to come from the other way. <laughs> it was amazing, though! Al Gigante... El Gigante... El Gigante... El Gigante... El Gigante... Don't... Don't die, don't don't hurt Ashley, don't kill me, play... Thank you. El Gigante, sorry, it's El Gigante. That's what we learned from... Someone the other day. A little faster. Whoa! Holy fuck. That would have been a great... That would have been a great death. One of the top five deaths of Vine Sauce history. But you know what? I almost put my controller down. Because usually when an enemy, like, falls over, that means that's it. They're, they're done. I was extremely close to putting my controller down. So just remember... Knives cut chains. This is a well-known fact. Alright, we're gonna check out the other path now, too. Someone said I missed a shack. How do you miss shack? He's huge. Ow. It's been a very strange couple days here on the stream. Some strange topics. Or as, uh... Mark said in the room, These are very strange times we live in. Wow, shoot kneecap, head explodes. It evolved. Yep. Holy shit. I love this game so fucking much. This is still my favorite Resident Evil. Music was kind of loud, yeah, it gets loud at those parts. It's kind of tough finding a balance, because that one song, if you can call it that, I call it Nolan Drums. That one Nolan Drums is so much louder than everything else. She emerges from the dumpster. Crusty. Unholy. Yeah, couldn't we just leave her there, call in a, like an evac chopper, and just, like, have them get her in the trash? Jesus. So many of them. Oh no, Leon! Oh shit. You don't You don't survive a lot of hits in this game. Oh, that's a generous checkpoint. Thanks, Resident Evil. Um yeah, you really don't survive a lot of hits. Those fucking head tendrils! That shit's crazy. Okay, so Ashley needs to come with me. Having less health makes the game more intense, it's great. Well, I mean, yeah. They call him Limpin' Leon. It's what Mario says. He goes, Limpin' Le uh, Limpin' Leon! We will cease our hunt for Lewis. And ambush the Americans. And why are you leaving this note here? Oh. Mr. Kennedy, you seem to be having trouble reading. That's why we scattered a bunch of notes for you all around the village. We want you to... 
learn to read, Mr. Kennedy. Next Resident Evil game, Leon teaches typing. Okay, let's get ready to move our pingors. Un forastero! <laughs> Good shot, fucker. You think Ashley can still hear after all this? L you know, Leon firing a gun, like, point blank next to her ears. Do you think Leon can still hear? I bet this dude is not wearing earplugs. Jesus, Ashley. I know why Ashley is so important now. The a Lamaus, they took the president's spoojin. They sprayed all over the president. Whoa! That's what you get. All right, Ashley, you gotta get on the slab. We ha we have to appease the gods. Just get him, get in the slab. Come on now, Ashley. You know you want to get on the slab. The shop guy probably has some nice smells to him. It's good to see I've influenced the chat. Or did I influence you, or did you just find my streams? and decide to stay because you were like, you know what? I have a lot in common with this guy. This- this guy's got a lot of problems. I like watching him. Not that I'm implying you have problems, but you know, you- You like the streams and... Shit, really dug myself into a hole on that one. Or we influenced you. You most certainly did. See, streaming... You kind of have an, uh, an idea of expectation from the audience. You were not holding that gun, Leon. Outside. So in many ways, you too have influenced me. Oh shit, here we go. You're in here with me! Hasta luego. God damn it, Leon. From a fucking day one rookie in Raccoon City, to full action hero, complete with one-liners. Some his pants don't burn off. Oh my god. Centipede body horror, go. Yeah, you gotta need that. Arp. Take the orp. No! There you go. Get some splosh. Oh, shit! Might want to run. run, Leon, run! Full health would have been... Ah, there's the red herb. Tell me there's another green somewhere. There's a... What is that? Yellow. Fuck you. Oh, yes! Yes! Saved by the herb. Leon's like, hey, could you could you wait just a minute? I, I gotta make a quick salad. <sighs> yep, that's nice. Just think, Leon actually had to touch that. Like, it's a video game, so these aren't things that you notice or like to think too much about, but... He had to touch the eye, so there's like, not just pus, but there's like, Los Plagas pl pus. Um, and centipede juice. And then he either had to rub that on his pants, or he just grabbed his gun again. So now his gun, for the remainder of this playthrough, has centipede juice on it, and like, eyeball fluids. So, I just want you to think about that every time Leon reaches for the gun. That he is now... fully committed to centipede juice for the remainder of the game. Exquisite. Ready to be sold. Exquisite. Ready to be sold. Ah. Welcome. Got a selection of good things on what are you selling? How come you never let me finish my sentences? Yeah, so that's what you do. You get the gems, and then you put them in the things, and then you can make them worth more. So when you sell them, you get more money, and you get more smells from the man's coat.
<laughs> I totally forgot what to do. If I was Chris Redfield, I could just punch it. Shoot the driver. I, didn't I? Oh, I guess not. Ashley was awful nonchalant about getting out of the way. What the fuck? Can we get another truck, please? Come on. Yeah. Alright. Now we enter Castlevania. Get your religious cult commentary ready. Okay, well you see... What you need to do... Is capture some beavers. Welcome! You have a semi-auto rifle. For some reason, a fucking mine thrower? I don't think I ever use the mine thrower in this game. Riot gun is good. Striker is the best shot. When does striker become available? Later one is for spread. Riot is for focus damage. Should I even bother with the mine thrower? What do you guys think? Should this be the playthrough where I finally use the mine thrower? Or should I get the broken butterfly? Uh, I'm not getting it. I'm not gonna get the mine thrower. What Maybe I'll change my mind later, but it just seems like such an unnecessary purchase. Quality is so low on this version of the song. Well, like I said, we're <laughs> we're basically in a Castlevania game now. Whoa! -ho -ho -ho! Good night. Also, you guys should get ready for some suplexes. Oh, why am I standing here? It's a huge mistake. No, okay, I got lucky. Run, Ashley, run. Run, 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 run. Ow! I want a sickle. It's a sickle because it's short. Yeah, a scythe... Doesn't a scythe have, like, a big long thing for both arms, for both hands? That you can, like, use? I, I don't know, man. I'm sure there's a difference. Mental. It would be cool if you had to bring the cannonball over. And then you had to use it to take down... ...a Nergigante. Or is it a Nergigante from Monster Hunter? I think Final Fantasy VII was the first time I saw the word bangle. Maybe. It's the first time I noticed it. Like, a lot. I was like, wow, I've lived this many years. It wasn't that many, but I lived this many years and I've never seen a bangle in my entire life. Nor had I heard the word. Bangle bus? Okay, that's enough chat for one evening. You know what it is? It's just me looking into a mirror. When I get disappointed in the chat, it's like when you see yourself in the mirror yeah, and your reflection your disappoints location? you. So, uh, this is interesting. The retexturing in the castle. That is primo shit right there. Platinum sword mounted on the gold plate. I don't know, it seems like an upgrade to the knife. Yep, shoot knee. Explode head. Oh, they get a little bit more nasty. In this chapter, I forgot about that. I told you about them zealots. And Darth Maul. Suplex! It really is Skyrim! What's the dude, um, from... Uh, what- what's the place? Winter holds? No, a white run. White run. I see you have an interest in magic. I can't do his voice. Fainor? Fang- Fangle. You right over there, Ashley? Notice that this all went downhill. After the suplex. What do you think that guy's doing over there? Just thinking about those beans? It's a beautiful thing. Could you 
you imagine having to do this to another human being? Even one infested with the centipede? Fuck off. This is where the game starts to start- uh, starts to start. <laughs> begins to go off the rail. One rail. It was only ever on one rail. That's the brain damage. Sorry, everyone. The older I get, it's only gonna get worse from here on out. Sentences are gonna become more mangled. Leon! Lewis. I've got something for you guys. What, your dick? Uh, what? Oh, nice, shit. nice camera. Ah! Suplex?! <laughs> the fucking suplex is going through Ashley. Jesus Christ. You know what I think is an urban legend? If you put a firecracker up a frog's ass, it'll explode. That's- that's an urban legend. That doesn't happen, right? No, I knew kids that did that when I was younger. I think that's disgusting and horrible. I was never... Never one to think that was funny. But, there were people that did it. When fireworks were still legal in New York, people would, uh... Would say that they were putting, like, fireworks up frogs' asses, yet I'm laughing. What is wrong with me? I don't know if it's true. <laughs> See, he's laughing too. <laughs> I was starting to wonder when you might notice us. Who are you? Me llamo Ramon Salazar. Here we fucking go. The castellan of this magnificent architecture. I have been honored with a prodigious power from the great Lord Sadler. I've been expecting you, my brethren. No thanks, bro. <laughs> my, my. We've got a feisty one. <laughs> if you care for it's your own well game. I suggest you surrender yourself and simply become our hostage. Or, Mr. Scott, you can give us the girl because you're not worth a penny, I'm afraid. You can die. So, for those that have never seen this game played before, you're probably confused. Uh, well, don't worry, we all are. Still, all these years later. Why does anyone think Leon is cool? He's such a nerd. He's a good fusion of nerd and cool. No thanks, bro. But yeah, why is that dude the, the Kalazan, Kalazar of this castle? Kalistan, because he commemorate. Why is he of this castle? Why is he the Calamari of this castle? Who is he? Why does he look the way he do? No one know. They don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. It do. And this, again, like I said, is why Resident Evil 4 is just this bizarre mash of both serious, scary, campy, schlock, and it, somehow it all works with perfect pacing and good combat. It's an anomaly. This painting didn't look like this in the original, did it? I just don't remember that painting. But then again, you know my memory is that of a beaver. All ground up and smooth. So we'll get to camp. <laughs> Allow me to free you from this meat. You know, horses. Horses spitting fire from their noses. That's the kind of security we install here at the castle. Well, Mr. Kennedy, let me tell you about my horse fires. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Run, Ashley! <laughs> but why do they go... <laughs> like, I get that they're evil and they're infected with parasites, but... Whoa, wrong one! Back the fuck up, Leon! Let's go! Let's go! Oh, no. Ooh, in the air! 
I remember I was playing this game. <laughs> uh, there's family over. And it was like a Sunday family holiday dinner or something. It might have been Easter or something. And I had a bunch of family members over. And at the time, I just didn't give a fuck. I was getting sick of... I was getting sick of the family things happening to the point where I couldn't play my video games. So I just didn't care and I was playing Resident Evil 4. The looks of disgust. I remember were a thing of beauty. Yeah, this is a famous room in this game. Famously annoying room. And this is where the dynamic difficulty starts to reveal itself a little bit. Dude. Dude. Still coming at with me with the fucking spiked ball. Despite having centipede horror head. Why is that noise still happening? And it sounds like it's like right next to me. Is that a glitch? Like someone dragging chains? Yeah, that was definitely not a glitch, but it was also really weird sound mixing. Priceless artifact. That Leon is wantonly just destroying with his knife. For his own personal gain. Whoa. Oh! Wrong weapon for that situation, man. Actually, we running. We running. Lucky, Leon. You lucky son of a bitch, Leon. Ashley's not so lucky, however. Ashley is very far from fucking lucky. I got Ashley doing manual labor now. Gotta earn that protection. Alright, Ashley, you can stop. I'll, I'll take it from here. I'm, I can do this faster. Vinny, what's the appeal of this cult? Why are there so many people joining this community? Uh, the Kool-Aid is free. Uh, it, it's got eggs in it. But... We don't know how good Centipede Head feels. That, not entirely... How I wanted to say that, but... We really don't know what it feels like to have the plague inside you. Maybe it feels awesome. Oh god, no! Now's not the right time for that! Ah, shit! <laughs> Sick fuck is laughing, dude! Ah! Right in the ass. <laughs> no, sir! Dying. Shots in there. I mean, she's still working despite all the fucking bullets and weirdos, Palpatines. She's still turning that crank. Not enough cash. What are you selling? Sell some ass, stranger. Here's the armory. The fuck? Wait a minute. What? Cool. <laughs> this is a cool castle. Keeping hand grenades in treasure chests. Yes, it's silly. Yes, it's very, very silly. Are you stop? You know what? This I'm gonna try with the mouse. Let's see how oh god the sensitivity is crazy. This is now I'm using the mouse now. What is happening? 
I mean, I did it, but I don't think I'll be using the mouse anymore. Thanks anyway. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is what happens. Stand back. They have like a little sound and everything. Stand back. Stand back. Don't worry, Ashley. Don't wo don't, don't, don't don't worry, Ashley. Don't wo don't Leon, help! Yep. Yep, that's about right. Oh, again, for how gory this game can be, you just don't expect... You just don't expect bottle caps and little action figures with sounds. Watch this overly convenient trap. Ashley! What's going on? Good thing Ashley was in the exact right spot for that to happen. Oh no, Mr. Kennedy. It is I who will be coming for you. We've jacked the line. We didn't want and to I've jacked too. Everyone. You know, Mr. Kennedy, I have a brother. His name is Luigi. So many little moments in this game that I just forget are in the game. So this is how... This is how you can have aliens in a Resident Evil game. Just say that they're plague... They're like parasite plague aliens. She oh! That is a brutal death for Mr. Kennedy. You won't be needing your head where you're going, Leon. Fuck that door. Again, these textures are much improved and make this place look really good compared to how it used to look. But I mean, you don't really notice these things. When I was playing this on the GameCube, the resolution was low and, you know, when I was playing it on a TV that was probably, like, made of ass. So now, seeing it like this, it's just like, oh, this is what Resident Evil 4 looks like. But it didn't always look like this. I can't believe they have these, like, silly Zelda-esque treasure chests. Usually with things like grenades inside of them. What does the merchant do with these things? Does he pawn them off to other people? Like, does he know collectors? I want to know about the merchant's backstory. Well, actually, I kind of don't. I don't, actually. Think about how many times we learn the backstory of something and it ends up being, like, either really disappointing or just lame. M maybe it's okay not to know some things. These are midichlorians, Anika. Why are midichlorians disliked? I just kind of accepted it. Well, when you grew up with Star Wars, the thing about the Force was that anyone could tap into it. It was kind of like meditation. It was a very, like, Zen Buddhist kind of philosophy. And then, um, the prequels came out and pissed people off because it was like, Oh, no, no, no. It's not that. It's... You have little, like, things in your bloodstream, like little, uh, bugs. And they make you, uh, Jedi. So if you have a lot of those, you could be a Jedi. The universal nature of what the Force was supposed to represent was what appealed to people. Mm, the midichlorians you have, Luke! They are in you more than others! I just don't think the Dagobah scenes would have had as much impact if Yoda was explaining the Force. You know, it just- I, I don't think- I don't think it would have worked as well. It wouldn't have worked on me. I, as a kid, I would have been like, Oh, I don't have midichlorians. But... You know, whatever. My father has it. I have it. And... Oh, you have a lot of those parasites in your bloodstream. Uh, 35,000 to be precise. Oh yeah, you have it too, for sure. But I was never one of those types of people that said George Lucas ruined my childhood. I think that's absurd. I think it's, you know, it's nice to revisit the stuff I liked when I was a kid. But of course it's going to evolve, and it's not always going to be to your liking. Someone said the prequels are underrated. What they tried to do was underrated. I just don't think they did them well. Um, but I like aspects of them. They're fun. Fun to make fun of. Well, I guess it's official. We're now on Facebook. I really wasn't sure about this at the start. But then a friend of mine said something that just made all kinds of sense. She said, think of it more as a conversation. I like that. I like that. But I'm already finding out on my own. So it's wiping the walls out between you and me. And I really like that. 
Ooh. It allows us into each. I really like that. What is it that? It allows us into each other's worlds, or I guess in my case, hotel room. So relatable, Garth. When I think about things I want to post, I want to post cool stuff, slick stuff, neat stuff. <laughs> But most of the stuff I'm going to post is going to be raw stuff like this. <laughs> yeah, it's raw. It's just who I am. Unrehearsed and raw. So if this is truly a conversation, then I say let the conversation begin. That is so... So... Unbelievably rehearsed. Also, the chanting and this music while that was happening. Really good ambient noises. Who is that someone? So that's Garth Brooks, one of the highest selling musical artists of all time. Man, I love this cult shit so much. This is such a good setting for Resident Evil. Who would have thought? Um, cool sacrifice of meat. Okay, I'm gonna try this one more time. Because I wanna have fun. I want the conversation to begin. Listen to that meat dissolve. That's good. Oh, what? One guy got over. I mean, they're just spinals. They're nothing amazing, but that's two thousand each, so it's, I think it's worth it. And also, that just looked cool. Anyone looking to join a religion? I mean, uh, yeah, religion, not a cult. I hear this church is accepting new patrons. Someone raised the good point, why would anyone join this church? I don't think anyone here had a choice. I think they just, like, put parasites in the drinking water. But... Maybe there's some, like, good things. Maybe there's some benefits. What, what could be good about joining this particular religion slash cult? What would you... Um... What do you get from it? Like... Tax exempt, free games, great style... Endless meat, weight loss, free health care. Yeah, that's true. Just more, more, uh, parasites. Not giving a shit anymore. Oh, that's a good one. Think about it. You could trade all the shit you give for no shit given. Like, none. You just have to have, like, parasites in, and you have to be, like, a sycophant. And, um, you have to be completely loyal to the church. Otherwise, uh, you get murdered. You don't take shits, you only give shits. You just saw all this happen. Welcome. This merchant's seen some shit. You know, I'm beginning to like this cult thing. The only thing I want from Vine Cult is just be good to yourselves. And each other. Ha ha ha. You can laugh, you can cry. Human sacrifices? Yeah. Those are fine. You can do those if you want. Wait, I mean, you as a human make a sacrifice to be a better person, right? That's what you mean? Dear Lord. Can we put pineapple on pizza? That's instant expulsion from the cult. You just call me El Yacht Vinard. That's gonna be my uh, cult leader name. My name is El. How you doing? I didn't know Uncle Fester joined the cult! Oh, this is another benefit. <laughs> you get fucking machine guns. When you join this cult. What a pleasant surprise. But I'm afraid it's Ashley we need. Not you, Mr. Kennedy. If you don't need me, then get off my back, old man. <gasps> Did you say old man, Mr. Kennedy? <sighs> I'm only 12. It might come as a surprise, but I'm only 20 years old. So you're just like all the others? A puppet of the parasites? Surely you don't think I'm the same as those diminutive ganados. The parasites, las plagas, are slaves to my will. I have absolute control. Well, I really don't give a damn. Rain or shine, you're going down. Oh my god. These cheesy lines. Now that's a sight. Now these motherfuckers got sides. They had sickles, but they've upgraded. Really? 
Forgot about those fuckers. Good shots. Nice shots. Hey man, nice shot. Oh, it is also a requ requirement. I can say that word. It's a requirement of this particular cult to make creepy noises. Upon firing your weapon. Also, you can get kicked out of this cult if they catch you having a wank. Can I still dab? Nope. Removed. Remember, if you start dabbing unironically, or rather ironically, you will start dabbing iron on ir Whatever. Wasn't worth it. So, when I say things wrong, which happens from time to time, I, I happen to be an imperfect being, and I, I sometimes say words improperly. Sometimes on purpose, sometimes accidentally. Um, but when I do that, people... <laughs> They post English major, lol. And, uh... I just think back to my days as an English major where we had speak good class. Ah, oh, those were the days. We would just say words out loud over and over and over again until we could speak good class. I told the story about how my friend... So I had to do a public speaking assignment where I told a story, right? I procrastinate the assignment. I decided that, uh, I wasn't going to think about it until the day of. Day of comes, because I'm an asshole. And I decided to tell a story about how my friend, at the time, who now looks like a hot dog, um, ate a, a lit blunt because he, he thought the cops were coming, but it was a Range Rover. Just fucking, like, swallowed that shit. There was almost the full blunt. Like, he just ate a lit blunt because we were in his car, and, you know, obviously, I don't condone the use of cannabis, of course, unless it's legal in your state. Thanks, guys. That was nice. Thanks for the rocket. Um, it's very confusing, you know, because it is legal in some places. Anyway, the point is... Uh, the point is, this was, you know, college years. Not even... No, no, this was... Yeah, this was the beginning of college life for me. And so, you know, we were in his car and he had the, the silver reflector up because he thought that, you know, that would be inconspicuous. Just a bunch of smoke coming out of a car with a fucking reflector so that, you know, the sun, uh, the sun reflector. And yeah, I mean, he just saw some lights and I guess he took the first couple hits and he got, he got really paranoid and he saw the lights and he just ate the thing. No one told him to do it. We just watched in awe. It was like, in slow motion. I can still recall how it looked. Like, my memory's shit, but I have all the details. Just straight up ate the thing. Lit end first. And then swallowed it. And chewed a little bit, too. No, because what it looked like was that he just gulped. He went like this. So then he started chewing. I think what he- he probably had some, like... Probably had some like bud in his like in his mouth still, or like some paper or something. Um, so I told the story in public speaking class. So this is a story within a story. I told the story, and of course the class was, you know, en they enjoyed it. They were into it. They thought it was funny. Um, teacher, not so much. I got spoken to after class, but not like in a bad way. It was more like, like listen. You did a good job, but this wasn't supposed to be a story about that. I was like, oh, well, you know, the class liked it. I thought it was pretty good. And then my t the, the crazy thing is, well, actually, the cool thing is that the teacher laughed about it, and then we just both went our own way. That was it. And then everybody clapped, and his name was Albert Einstein. Let's talk about what we're here on this planet for which I've concluded, as of yesterday, is to give sewers poop. Yeah, I like these little quiet moments in between the action, where you just get to look around and, you know, get some ambience, shoot some crows if you want, whatever you want to do. It's just a nice... Whoa. pro having Thanus, yeah, how do you...
Oh my god. Got some rare things. What are you, boy? Oh, you didn't let me finish. Puzzle. Oh no, I remember this room. I have vivid memories of this room. Oh, fuck. Yeah! Yeah! Oh! as long as I don't run or shoot. Like how the music stopped, despite big uh, Wolverine dude still being here. Whew. If something looks like a dick, vaguely, is it peenish? Oh yeah, oh that's fun. Oh, that's fun. That's some good nightmare fuel right there. Kneecap death. In case of emergency, break glass for RPG. Jeez. Oh, okay, we'll get ready for, uh... Tetris. Wow. Perfect fit. Is that all, stranger? Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. Man, after all the Tetris I did... Is this first play? No. No, my memory's rotten, though, so... Leon! I got it. Where did he keep that? Now that I have the sample, that was a penis. You serve me no purpose, Sadler. My boy Salazar will make sure you follow the same fate. Stay I like that he has a meat staff, a living meat staff. I knew you for 20 minutes! At most! I mean, Lewis is a cool character. You just don't see him a whole lot in Resident Evil 4. You, you see him a couple times, he disappears for a while, he shows up, he disappears, and then stabbed by a fucking spiked dick. <laughs> so wait a minute, they had Ashley this whole time in that spot. And no one came to get her. No one. My name Leon Kennedy. Only know how to shoot. Solve problem with shoot gun. Sorry Ashley, did you get did you get a little singed? What the f- oh, fuck, I shot your boot! That's, it. That's the good end. That's the good ending. I'm still upset that I can't wear Leon's jacket. Anymore. Alright. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, you get to play as Ashley now. Ambitious game design. Ma Matalo. Sorry, Matalo. What does that mean? Kill them? Okay, thanks. It's kill him. Okay, so they they didn't record a line for the Ashley bits. And no chat. No, not Ashley's bits. Ashley bits. The parts where you play... Would anyone actually want to live in a castle, though? 
think about how drafty they would get. How much work it would take. You know, you'd need a staff. Just too big. I mean, maybe like a mini castle. Like a small, like a fort. That's fine. I could live in a fort. I don't think I would want to live in a castle. I'm sure the castle life would suit others. There, there are people who are born for castles. I, I don't think I'm, I'm a born castle liver. Vinny, you're starting to sound senile. Starting? But like, think about how drafty they get. Like, you have to, you know, find ways to pipe heat throughout the whole thing. You know, I bet, I bet they get real damp. They retain moisture. They're more susceptible to hauntings. Apparently, ghosts like hauntings uh, when in castles more. You know, I watched a couple episodes of Ghost Hunters back in the day. I'm telling you, man, those ghosts, they love castles. You gotta have some history in them, though. You gotta, like, find a way to make the history. You know, this game could just use... We, we here at Capcom... We just feel like the game could use more slide puzzles. Wait. Mr. Capcom... Uh... Capcom. That's good. Uh, Crapcom, Jom... Do, do you mean maybe we can make and design an original puzzle? For this section? One that might... Both be interesting and fun for the player, and fit in with the game's overall aesthetic and feel better? Nah. Nah, we want puzzles. Slide puzzles. <laughs> yeah. I just said they're, they're just wonderful slide puzzles. Aren't they just nice? Aren't they just so good? <sighs> Man, that John Crapcom was sure on his game. He was like, yo them slide puzzles in that one section. Player might get bored of all the fun shooting. They used to have these Halloween parties at my old, my school. You know, from like first to like fifth grade. I remember these Halloween parties and they would have these little shitty toys that you could just take. And every year it was the same like ghost slash pumpkin slide puzzle. Every fucking year. Cheap plastic. You know, they would fall apart. Oh, this is, this is good stuff right here. Sound design in this game is top notch. Um, yeah, ghosts like to haunt castles. You ever think, like, for a minute, a ghost could be merging with you, like right now? Because if they if they're real, and they just like pass through, you know, and they're just like floating all around, what if on their way, Leon, like a <laughs> ghost just merges with you briefly? As I've said before, ghosts. You know, very wildly inconsistent from report to report. Aliens too, but ghosts especially. There's no good rules on what a ghost can do and what its abilities are. And that's the thing that's frustrating and scary. It's like, well, you know, at least give me some idea of what to be afraid of. Why don't you do us all a favor and leave before the audience gets pissed off? <laughs> You're nothing but an extra in my script, so don't get too carried away. Your biggest scene is over. I don't ever remember being a part of your crappy script. Crappy. Well then, why don't you show me what a first-class script is like through your own actions? Very good. Very good. Leon's a dork, and Salazar is almost as big of a dork. Can I just tell you, I love this game. Who doesn't? There's probably some people that don't like this game. There's got to be like three or four people that are out there that are just like, nah. Nah, I don't like Leon. I don't like his stupid haircut. He looks too much like Vinny. What's going on here? Oh, I have to exit the game. 
This way. Yeah. Oh, oh, I see what I'm doing. <laughs> oh. Resident Evil 4 HD project begins. What makes this the best Resident Evil, in my opinion? Um... I like the way it plays. I like the... the pacing of the game. I like the setting of the game. The castle is great. The cult is great. The Ganados are great. Um, I'm not crazy about the commando base later, but that's, you know personal preference. It's still good. It's a good mix of serious plus cheese. You got Leon motherfucking Kennedy as the main protagonist. And yeah, I mean, it's a good evolution from the isolated, or isolated, the isometric perspective of the previous Resident Evil games. I feel like they did a really good job. Someone said this game still has tank controls. It, I know what you're saying, but it works better when the camera isn't fixed to a single point. And protecting Ashley isn't that annoying, like, some people might complain about the Ashley escort stuff, but I think it's handled relatively well. You can leave her in a dumpster for most of the time. <laughs> Suplex in the game. Someone said RE2 remake will hardly be legendary like RE4. Uh, gonna throw that in there. Got plenty of, um, Horp. Lots of Horp. Horp. <laughs> there it is. First Magnum. You can't leave Ashley behind. I'm not trying to. Follow me. <laughs> that noise. Follow me. Door kicks open. Wait, follow me. The Ashley is aggressive. I watched some footage of the RE2 remake. Like, I watched not all of it. I don't want to spoil, spoil myself. Leon is, is a little... He looks a little bit like a mouse. Uh, and his voice is a little high-pitched for my liking. But he's young. It's, it's a young rookie Leon. I'm not even sure how this particular action hero Leon exists. You can say the same for Chris. Chris was always a little bit beef. But I'll say that what Chris became later is just absurd. Like, the size of that dude's arms is like the size of Leon's torso. And then the punching boulders, and... It's just so... Wait here. It's just so crazy. But, like, why does this exist? Why are these people getting around the castle like this? Bridge boring. Yeah, I guess so. Dramatic castles need dramatic forms of uh, transportation. Definitely not like a regular bridge. They have fuck you money. Alright, I accept this. Oh, that tithing. This part is just silly. <laughs> this is such a silly part. Bum, 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 bum. Double suplex. Head removal service. Courtesy of Leon S. Kennedy. So, uh, how are you guys doing on lava? Any more lava? Where are they getting- Who are they getting this lava from? Did they build this castle inside of an active volcano? Don't think about it. You know what? Don't think about it. We don't want to think about that, because then it'll, it'll, you know, you're not going to get the answers that you want. It's not, never going to be satisfactory. They've got a lava guy. How much does it cost to get a lava guy? I'm sure they got someone for their lawn. They got someone for the sewage. Someone for the lava. Does Vine Sauce need a lava guy? I could use one. When chat gets out of hand. Remember, this does not lower the value of the gem in any way, shape, or form. Bullets do not affect the gem's integrity. Gem is stronger. Always has been, always will be. Yeah, they got castle roller coasters for getting around.
And also having fun. Because remember, it's all about fun in this cult. You get to say your prayers with a smile on your face. You get to murder and eat flesh with a nice big grin. It's about family, really. The cult's not fun. Why bother? Let's see if you can survive this time. <laughs> Just remember, all problems in Resident Evil 4 can be solved by shooting at them. Of course, a, a comically oversized drill. Yeah, shoot the dudes, the gate opens. It's fine. It's normal. It's good. This is where the game starts going off the rails. No, you know what? Not starts. It has been, but this is where it ventures into... Like, we... <laughs> schlock. Intentional schlock. More so than it did before. Like, it's been there. Yes, we've been there, but it was like... You know, one foot in the water, now I think both feet are starting to get dipped in. It never gets to punching a boulder. See, that's the problem with Resident Evil 6 and 5. Not so much 5, more 6, but 5, five has it too, with the boulder punching. Um, they took the schlock element... ...and they, they took it too serious, I think. I think they, they played it for gasps... ...instead of laughs. And they were trying to make, like, a, a statement with Resident Evil 5 in the same game where, like, Chris punches a boulder. It, you know, it's just silly. It's really just silly. Silly stuff. But this game, it just somehow works. I don't know. I can't really explain it. I, I'm not very... I'm not very proficient at these sorts of things. I just know what I like. I know what works for me. Like, for example, um... The character named Potod Scumbiglia, that really works for me. Uh... Going into a secret room and having a thing break the fourth wall and then tell you that you're gonna get hurt. That really works. I really like that. We're gonna need a Garth emote at this rate? No. No, I'd like to try to deprogram that from my vocabulary because it's it's bad. I gotta stop. You this is just ghosts. This is not plague. This is not zombie. It's not mechanical. It's gotta be ghosts. Turns out it was plague. The whole time. It knows precisely how to animate suits of armor. Rusty. Rusty, shitty suits of armor. None shall pass. Oh, damn. Whoa! Jesus. Run. Run, bitch! Run, bitch! Adam Sa- Adam Sadler? Oh, hey Leon, what are you doing here? Come on, what are you doing? Come on, give me a break. You should eat some of the worms. Oh, the eggs! Combine egg and herb make omelet. Yep. The flying Wait. bug monsters. We saw them earlier, but they're here again. <laughs> oh! I'll be fine without the rocket launcher chat. It's about sending a message. Can't let the bugs win. Some crazy shit in the previous room, huh, stranger? <laughs> I've been standing here for hours. The merchant has to have some plague. There's, there's gotta be some parasites in there. First of all, how many of these fuckers are there? Second, if he can just teleport around... I, I'd be shocked if there were, weren't some plagues. Like, at least three or four. 
Don't lose your head. I shot his shirt off. Can I get a clip of that? I shot his clothes off. You're right. I did. <laughs> I gotta see that in slow motion. Clothes? No clothes. <laughs> I shot him naked. That's an awesome glitch. I like that glitch. Look, I wasn't even trying to do the Garth Brooks thing. I like that glitch. That's the proper suplex. Our only requirements for Vine Cult is a sweet robe. And you have to ingest some parasitic plague thing. But well, that's okay. That's not the hard part. The, the hard part is finding a robe that fits and looks nice. Just like eating meatballs. What? Like, oh. What? Oh, the plague? I mean... I haven't eaten the meatballs at Ikea, but I'd imagine that's what it would be like. The crazy thing about the Swedish meatballs at Ikea is that everyone says they're amazing. But... You know, there's not really a whole lot of times where I'm in, like, a supermarket or a department store and they have a food area. And it's, like, nuclear cheese. It's, like, bright yellow cheese on some kind of, like, meat tube. I, I hesitate to say hot dog. Oh, no, that was... Oh, fuck. I guess we all fucked up. Oh shit. After that grenade, the, the grenade was so disappointing, I have to just restart the game from the beginning. Sorry everyone. Run has to be restarted. Nope. Nope. Don't like that. Dog! Oh, Jesus! Straight up. Right out of the movie, The Thing. Gonna kick it in the parasite. Oh my god. That scared the fuck out of me, that cutscene. Shh, they don't know where I am. Shh. As long as we're quiet. As long as we're quiet, they won't know. Okay. Friend! someone by accident? Is it like one bullet? Wrong spot. It sounded like the dude was right behind me. Whoa, where are you going? Where are you going, friend? Did you know that during this fight, in the original draft of this scene, the room was supposed to be pitch black darkness as you fight the two dudes? Holy fuck. <laughs> Mr. Kennedy, don't you know when it's time to throw in the towel? No! Leon! Like, why, why do you have that? Why do you just have a grappling hook? Hmm. Like, is it really Batman? Is the satisfying sound of one's impalement. Don't fall for this old trick. Kill him! Kill! Quickly, we shall prepare for the ritual. I like the dude's monsters. Not even Palpatine had monsters. So maybe you have nine lives, but it doesn't matter now, Mr. Kennedy. I've sent my right hand to dispose of you. Your right hand comes off? Hm. Say whatever you please. Die, you worm! This is a very angry 
angry guy. What, what can I say? And, yep, the merchant has set up shop in the sewer. Welcome! Got a lot of rare shit on sale for you, stranger. Welcome. Come back any time. Oh, okay, Some, uh, something strange is happening to Leon. I am not pressing any buttons. What is this? Huh? Is Leon looking at the bats? They explode into batty chunks. How come you're not getting the striker yet? Don't you get a free one? You get no more free guns? All right, well, some people are saying the striker isn't all that amazing. Some people are wrong. Striker is a speed running tool. The max level striker it holds 100 rounds. Okay, yeah, we're gonna go get the striker now. Enter the inventory before the laser sight appears. Equip any item other than the striker. Oh shit. <laughs> oh no! I did it! I broke the game. Leon is now fucking broken fast. Is there a way to- is there a way to stop this? Okay, no, it's good now. Once you go back to the striker, it fixes it. Yeah, no, it's just a xenomorph. Can't catch me. I'm too fast. I was- I was pretty fast for a minute there. It's nice to see you, Mr. Kennedy. Just fucking defrosted him. Maximum bungle. Someone in chat just said, I think you dropped something. I don't know. I, do I thought, you know, use grenades. I was like, oh, the fire grenade is powerful. <laughs> Someone in chat just said, this game uses real science. Doesn't it, though? Doesn't it just use that real science, though? Well, this is gonna be a bungle. Open door. Open door! <laughs> Thanks! <laughs> Thanks! That fire it grenade was the real that highlight. Salazar is having difficulty taming the American pig. Salazar had his chance. Krauser, go get the girl. Oh, and uh, dispose of the swine while you're at it. Consider it done, Jarl Algriff. Then there's this fucker. You would think. Homeboy Sadler would send out his best men to do this from the start, before Leon's all powered up, before he gets a bunch of different weapons from the merchant who has been conspiring against Sadler for years, probably his brother. Welcome, Pradler. Do you think Sadler has a father? Dadler? Maybe he's got a child? Toddler? And this is where you leave the stream and never come back. Come back any time. So we're in the basement. We're in the sewers, the stank of the cult. Here at Vine Cults, you can do whatever you want. You know, whatever you believe in is fine. Just, you can laugh, you can cry, just don't hurt each other. That's really... Tommy Wiseau has the best rules for these sorts of things. Vinny, do you believe in Chi? I... don't know. Though I think we have chakras. Because I've done chakra meditation. And I felt, like, energy swirling. <laughs> that could have just been the meditation. Or the dank 
weed nugs that I ingested into my bloodstream before then. But, um, you know, if you believe in something and it makes you feel better and makes you strive and achieve things, then that's good, right? Um, speaking of achieving things, if Leon works out, Leon can eventually move this boulder just by punching it. Does anyone have a run of this game on YouTube where they just shoot everyone in the dick? I mean, there's probably someone who's done this. There it is. Well, sadly, you don't punch boulders in this game, but you get to blow them up with dynamite. Vinny, how many times will you make the boulder joke? Uh, probably a couple more. I want to milk it. Yeah, I'm live for like four hours a night, man. You know, you got to get the most out of what's given to you. Boulder's gone. I'm still thinking about it. Anyone here from Boulder, Colorado? Oh, man. Ugh. Ugh. If you kill both, you get more money. So if I kill both without using it, I get more money. Sounds like a challenge. Oh yeah, there's ogres in this game. Or is that no they're known in Lord of the Rings as, um... Trolls, right? It's very nice of the second one to just wait around. Oh, this one's in like a gift outfit. This this one's like a, in a jabroni outfit. Oof! Kicked. No kiku. No kiku. Tanaka, tai kiku. Again, it's really nice of the other one to just wait. It's courteous of others by wearing that mask. It doesn't want to get anyone else sick. Uh, can I say their names? Whoa! Well, there goes a lot of ammo. That was fucking crazy. You know, I didn't actually realize that I could get one-shotted with that level of health. Motherfuckers need raid. Let's get Leon some bug spray. Vinny, have you ever had midnight spaghetti? It's spaghetti that has been specifically prepared at midnight because I've lost control of my life. Well, that's my favorite message of the past week. So thanks for that. I mean, I haven't done midnight spaghetti. I've done midnight hot- oh my god. I've done like 2 a.m., 3 a.m. hot dogs. Like bacon wrapped hot dogs, but I didn't have buns. So I just cut them up. You know? I mean, this is- we're going back 10 years. Now... Now, if I'm gonna do shitty food, I'll just, like, get fast food. You know, at 3 in the morning. Um... But I- at the time, I was really hungry. I had friends over. We- we had some alcohol. There was a little bit of alcohol involved. And we were hungry, so I did a tropical hot dog night. It was almost a midnight Bellissimo, but it was a little after that. And so, yeah, I just made that. And, oh, and cheese! You can't forget the cheese. I put some cheese on those fuckers. See, that's why it's called Late Night Bellissimo, so that way it's not constrained specifically to midnight. You can have your Bellissimo whenever you want. Uh, yeah, so no, I've- I've definitely, um... I've also cooked bologna. There- there were times where I had... no food in the house. And very, very little money. And so... If there was bologna... I was going for it. Just, like, white bread... and bologna. But it's actually pretty good! That's the crazy thing! Water sandwiches? Oh, dude. It's the best! Yeah, you dip the white bread in some water... ...and then you just- you just eat it. Some nice soggy white bread. Oh, oh, even better. Milk. Milk bread. You've never had milk bread? Milk toast? Nah, that shit's real- real plain. Boring. Even. Um... <laughs> I'm so happy people tolerate my terrible jokes. That's so nice of you. See? 
Who says I don't have nice people watching my streams? What other bootleg foods? Remember Lunchables? Would you ever try microwaving a Lunchable so the cheese gets all melty? That's like fine cuisine compared to regular Lunchable. You know what my favorite part of Lunchables was? That after you got done eating them, you were still hungry. What is dry soup? It, it's soup powder that you have to add hydration to to activate the soup flavor. Um, except... Um, you don't put the hydration, you don't put any water or milk or anything, and you just let it be dry and you just eat the powder. You just shovel the powder into your mouth. That's dry soup. In a, like, a pacing sense of, you know, how the game flows, I really like that you get to, uh, go back to the Ganados, the earlier enemies. Because they're easier now, since you have... better shoot. They're easier now because you have better skill. And upgrades and all that fun stuff. So they just throw a lot of them at you. But it's- it's a way to feel like you've progressed and that you've made, you know, um, strides since you last fought them. I really enjoy that. So this is the part I was talking about. This is One-Eyed Willie's Waskily Adventure. Up ahead rests the offering to the lion. Well, I'm not lying when I say I really love this game. And we watch the viewer numbers go down. Yeah, I, I always like this part because it reminds me of Indiana Jones. If Indiana Jones was, like, psychotic and had, you know, lots of high-powered weaponry instead of just a revolver. Part time! Someone in chat just wrote, Smart Chain Man. I I'm assuming you're talking about the dude with the chainsaw getting stuck? I just like the way you said that. I like the way you phrased it. Poetic. Do you remember when I said, I really like that, and then I burped? Fuck, that was... That was the thing that happened. They don't carry credit cards or cash on them. Always... Always gold. Lots of gold coins. And a little miniature treasure chest. Remember the gold coins? Like the chocolate? They came in like little nets. It was such bad chocolate. The quality of the chocolate was so low. But I didn't care because I wanted... I wanted the coins. <clears throat> and then the sad thing is I would eat the coins. Not, like, with the foil on them, but, like, I'd eat the coins, and then I couldn't play with them anymore. Fuck. They still exist. How about Wet Willy's Gold? Do you remember that? It was gum. It looked like, um, little yellow pieces of, like, gold nuggets. And... It was in... Like... A comedy, like, bag... That you might store gold in. Like a little sack. It was like a sack. But it was also, you know, flavored gum. At, of which the flavor would last precisely... Three minutes? I think you get about three minutes of flavor with that. So it's also very similar to the, um, Fruit Stripe gum. Which... Was delicious for a couple seconds, because there was so much sugar on it. And then the rest of it was just... Like, pain. So I would, like, blow through a pack of Fruit Stripe gum... Like, 20 minutes. Get like a couple pieces, you know, get them in there, wear out the flavor, try again, wear out the flavor, spit, spit, go again. Uh, yeah, gum reviews could be the future of the channel, sure. Can't get content claimed. You wouldn't believe, I, I really finally got hit the hardest I've ever been hit by content claims in the past, uh, couple days, because YouTube changed some shit in June. And, uh, my videos went through the algorithm all over again. And I think I got, like, a couple hundred content claims. But that's it. That's as much as you're gonna hear me complain about it. I feel like I'm still very lucky to be able to do what I do. And I'm just gonna keep doing what I do. And, um, if they get copy claimed, then uh, alright, tough shit for me. As long as people can watch the videos still, I guess that's good. I'm pretty happy about that. I had only a couple videos removed in the past couple years. That- that pisses me off. Like, don't remove the videos. If you wanna- you know, take the monetization for yourself, that's okay. Just don't take the fucking videos offline. Well, the music industry, they were the, on top of the fucking world. I mean, the reason they got to the way they became is because the, the power and opulence of the industry got a lot of people used to a lot of different 
very lavish lifestyles, and they could just fuck over artists in whatever the way they wanted. And so they did. These days, it's a little different. It's not quite as bad. In fact, most of my experience with labels and industry people, which has been minimal, but most of it's been really good. So, I feel like the, the paradigm has changed a bit. And I know it's an algorithm. Oh, fuck. Come on. I didn't realize I had that low health. Too much talk, not enough shoot. If I take one hit of damage, I'm going to use the potion. The blood potion. Vinny, did you ever get contacted about your music being on Roblox? Yeah, apparently it is, for some reason. I don't know what that means, precisely, but... Someone just said, well, you do have a 12-year-old viewer base. You do realize you are part of the viewer base. Okay. Oh, okay. Good. Whip that fucking head around at me. Um, true story though, we did, like, kind of, um, on YouTube, like, the, you know, they have analytics. I think it's somewhere between late 18, like, you know, 18 and a half, and, uh, 25 is the average. If you can believe that. It's just people act a little younger. Oh, no, friend! Okay. Alright, that was bad. That was bad. That was not good. Just play Fortnite already? Okay. You know I lose viewers when I stream Fortnite. I'm the only streamer that actually gets less viewers for Fortnite. Do you think there are any streamers that are playing Fortnite right now and streaming it, but don't actually like playing the game? Do, do you think that's like a bunch of people? I'm just wondering. I kind of feel bad for them. It just sucks. All of them? No. I mean, that's, that's the, you know, that's the joke answer. <laughs> that's the joke answer. It's not that bad of a game. Even if you don't like it that much, you can still find ways to enjoy it. The Fortnite dances are the worst part for me. I really, really don't like the, the kids that I see doing the dances out in public at restaurants, and it's happened more than I'd like to admit. That's the thing that- I mean, it doesn't, like, annoy me. Why would that- why would something like that actually, like, spoil time of my life? It doesn't. You know? Like, life is short enough that I'm not- I'm gonna let that get up- get me upset. Like, dude! However, I look at it, and I have to avert my eyes, and I think to myself, What was I doing at that age? Oh, I was playing Pogs. You sound mad. I'm mad as hell! No, I'm- it's fine. You know, whatever you like is fine. It doesn't get me that angry. I think the game itself is pretty good, it just spawned some... some things that are hard to look at. You know about the Fortnite coaching, right? You can hire someone to for, uh, coach your child in Fortnite for 50 bucks an hour. They'll go to your house. You know, they'll teach your kids how to play better Fortnite. That's real. Will you coach me on how to play Mario conversions? I can coach you in corruptions for 50 bucks an hour. If you got it, pony up. I'll teach you how to use the stupidly easy real-time corruptor. And, uh, that- that's a skill I can pass on. I can't really teach you how to do the voices unless you have... ...you know, the Luigi voice already. If you got that, then let me know. 50 bucks an hour. You know what? 40. I'll make a deal for you, specially. Look at that. What a nice statue. The dude is so humble. Benevolent and kind and loving master of the castle. Uh, what else can I coach? I tried to teach someone guitar years ago that did not want to learn guitar, and I'm not that good at guitar at all. But I know how to do some chords. I could teach you a couple chords and shit, how to hold the fucking strings. Um, this dude did not want to learn how to play this instrument. He did not care. 
This was devised by their parent to give their child something to do. And, um, I think I... Uh, it's a bunch of lessons. And you know what? None of it stuck. The other thing about guitar is you kind of have to want to play guitar because it actually does fucking hurt your fingers for the first, like, month. It, it is not fun to have strings made of metal cut into your finger meat until you get calluses. Like, if I don't play guitar for a while, I lose my calluses a lot. Not entirely, but a lot. And then it sucks all over again. Then if I play acoustic, it's even worse. So, you have to have some desire to learn, and you have to be interested in rock music. This kid didn't even know any rock songs. I was like, so what bands do you like? We can learn some songs from He was like, um, I like this commercial. There was like a, a, a rock song from a commercial, and I had to learn it. And even then, he just had minimal interests. I decided that the money wasn't worth it. And I wasn't getting paid that much anyway, so I just- I gave up. I just said, listen, I- this- I can't do this. How come you don't want to do it? Your son doesn't want to learn how to play guitar. You- you can make him learn, though. You can make him learn. No, I can't. Um, someone said, Vinny, you're a good person. I don't know about good person. It's fucking low on patience. That was a, an act of selfishness more than anything. Now, if I was actually getting, you know, a decent paycheck out of that, maybe I would have done more of it. Vinny, for some reason, this really upsets me. Well, yeah, it sucks. Would you want to be forced to play Fortnite? What if you... Okay, so someone said, if I was paid, maybe. Alright, well, what if you had to pay to learn Fortnite, and then your parents take it out of, like, your, like, um, college tuition, so that you owe more student loans? Because they're convinced you're going to be the next ninja. Oh man. Is that where we are right now? Is that how- is that how this Fortnite coach thing works? Oh, that's weird. God, things changed. Not that much different- oh shit. Not that much different from a parent, like, hiring someone to teach their child, you know, football, like a- like a football coach. So they- they can become a football star, that's... You know, more or less not even frowned upon in any way, shape, or form. Even if the kid has very little interest in sports, it's still something... You know, get him out of the house, give him something to do. But, I guess now it's video games. Someone just said asshole parents trying to live through their children. Okay, well here's a good one. I don't know if this is... Hang on, I'll tell you in a second. Shit more. Yeah, go through the arm. Um, well that that worked out. Okay. Um what I wanted to say was someone I know, I wouldn't even call them a friend, but just someone I know, uh brought their child to a barbecue sometime last year and was saying that that was their future electrician. So nice you could join like, us, Mr. the dude is six months old. You again. The sacred rite that's about to begin at this tower shall endow the girl with magnificent power. She will join us, become one of us. This is no ritual. It's terrorism. Isn't that a popular word these days? Not to worry. We've prepared a special ritual for you. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, fuck. I dropped my controller entirely. So, anyway, let's talk about something more fun. Because we cover a lot of topics when I play Resident Evil 4 for some reason. We go from, like, cult, to religion, to... I guess, what did we talk about earlier that was weird? 
some other fucking weird shit. Um, plague diarrhea, I think we talk about. Soup powder, yeah, just strange, strange things. Where- how? How? Ugh, fuck! Wait, did I not use my- was that a one-hit kill? I'm really sucking at this game tonight. Respects towards your impressive and stubborn will, Mr. Kennedy. Welcome. <laughs> So he was waiting for this exact moment to turn into the tentacle beast. <laughs> he gets to merge with one of his, like, death guards in a flower asshole. Doesn't this make for a good one-hit kill with the rocket launcher? Monsters. Guess after this, there'll be one less to worry about. Good, good, Leon. It's like some fucking Sephiroth. Oh, shit! I like how you're given the opportunity to dodge, but not that. <laughs> Fucking Magnum. Did, uh, did the game lower Salazar's health for me? After I died? Like, I have no idea if that's a thing that could happen. Could you imagine having, like, zero health after that fight? Surviving, like, zombie Salazar? Meat Salazar. And then a snake kills you. Increase the firepower beyond the weapon's threshold. Oh, I forgot about this. Stranger. I forgot about exclusive upgrade. Okay. Is that all, stranger? So the firepower is 3.7 right now. <laughs> now it's 6.5. Excellent. Ah. Need a ride, handsome? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just I love his reaction to that. For some reason, so good. Leon's face looks a little weird. I don't know, there's certain angles where it looks decent, and then there's sometimes where the model just looks strange. So here's Shadow Moses Island. Got some business to take care of. See you later. Right? I hate to break it out to you, but Jesus. Salazar's dead. Leon, you dork. Yes, it seems that way. Sadler, why don't you give up and let Ashley go home? Perhaps you are disillusioned. He should have said, confidence. my wife. Just because you killed my small-time subordinate. Sadler, you're small-time. Oh. <laughs> I have some pretty sick ver uh, burns, though. I gotta say, I'm, I'm really... I'm really into the banter between Leon and Sadler. It's funny because this game comes across as a parody... ...of... ...the action... ...genre. And in so many ways, like, between the fucking over-the-top villains... ...the one-liners... You can play it totally straight and not know it's going for, like, the parody angle, or you can view it as an intentionally schlocky parody. And it's just great. Alright, Sandy. Yeah, you know. Dudes with chain guns. No, chain gun! Oh, the voices here are good. I forgot about these voices. I'm on it! 
They screech, they read. Alright, well, they're all dead now. This island is full of guns, stun sticks, freaks, geeks. Oh yeah, there's loot crates on this island. Subscription boxes. The man crate. It comes with a fucking hatchet and freeze-dried bacon. That's real. They sell shit like that. Like, there is a thing called Man Crate, I think. And, uh, yeah, it just- it just comes with, like... Like, weapons. <laughs> it's like, what? I'll just buy a hatchet if I need a hatchet. Well, we know you're a man. And you like bacon. Alright, well, you're right. I love bacon. I like how some places sell, like, zombie survival kits. Does anyone have that? You know, just in case you need to, um, have a machete. Okay, so let's take a look at the wooden crates. And I'm gonna sort by... Uh, $50 to $99. You have meat crate. Bacon crate. It's just all bacon-related stuff. There's... Whiskey crate, of course. Steak on a plate crate. Grill master crate. Um... Dashing stash mini crate. For mustache maintenance. Booze infused jerky crate. What? Uh, is there a crate on a crate? Switch swag crate. Cowpocalypse. Where's the weapons? I was positive I saw weapons on this fucking thing. I just- I see lots of, like, grilling stuff and caffeine stuff and beer stuff and... There it is. The zombie survival crate. I just want to read some of the items that are in this. I'm not going to show it to you because I- I'm not, that's what I'm not- I'm not really here to do that. But I'm going to show you, there's a zombie suppression crate. Keep evil at bay with an Elk Ridge machete. Not a toy! Zombie survival guide, zombie flashlight, first aid kit, duct tape, and spam. Then there's one with, um, an axe and a machete. And all the other stuff, including spam. Just in case you need to survive the apocalypse, you have the spam. Outdoor survival crate, that's got shovels and knives and shit. Yeah, so they actually... They're- okay, it's more specific than just, here's things that men like. Here's bacon, bourbon, and a fucking axe. Like, you can get the axe specifically if you want one for some reason, but it's not like... You- you get one and you get all of these items, which I thought is what it was. I mean, I- I told you, I have like a little knife collection. I- I collected them when I was younger. I think they're cool. I don't know why. The most I ever did was whittle a toothpick into a smaller toothpick. I just think they look cool, and... I don't know. Whenever I would see one that looked awesome, I would pick it up. I don't- I, I have no regrets, I swear. No regrets. But yeah, in terms of, like, me needing a hatchet... I just don't see the need for it. Maybe... I don't know, maybe if I want to do, like, campfires later on in my life. You can do... you can do campfires. Not in New York City, but I'd have to, like, go to the Poconos. Of the mountains in Pennsylvania. My friend, uh, Bill and I used to... He had a place there in the Poconos, and we would do campfires and play acoustic guitar around it. You know? So we'd have, like, a little, little whiskey, some guitars, campfire. All we needed was a fucking hatchet. Man, I should've got the man crate. You know what sucks? When someone brings a guitar to a conversation. I've been guilty of this a little bit, but never to the extent of, like, trying to perform songs while people are talking at a party, or whatever. The most I'll do is just noodle around on a guitar while I talk to somebody. And, uh, pay full attention to them as opposed to the guitar. But, I- I'm, you know, I, I'm talking about, like, someone that's like, Hey, my dude! Yeah, I got this acoustic guitar! I can play, uh, a John Cougar Melon Cap song for you. Dude, do you want to hear Margaritaville while you guys are trying to talk? My name is Brian. I will be your steward for this evening. Oh, there's a Q in my name, just in case you forgot. No, oh, but really, it's happened on a number of occasions, usually around fires. Like, unless there's a plan for guitars... They have more- and I'm a guitar fan. You know, I'm an, uh, an enthusiast, one would say. But unless there's a specific agreement... 
you know, usually it's not a great idea to just bust that thing out and then, like, change the whole dynamic of a situation. You know, this is me just nitpicking at life at this point. Like, I like the game, more or less. I think it's alright. It's got a couple bugs. Could use some tightening. You know, there's definitely room for improvement. But if I had to pick apart some peeves that would lower the review score of life, it would be... the guitar dudes. You know, there's a couple things here and there. But it's, it, you know, nothing that really bugs me. Like, the Fortnite dancing? Sure, it's annoying. Sure, it's secondhand embarrassment to some extent. But, you know, could always be worse. Graphics are really good. It's not too rewarding sometimes. It's like, you kind of have to make your own fun a lot of the time. And it's real easy to fall into uh, something that'll uh, degrade your... your... <laughs> your physical form. No, uh, so, we were talking about this similar topic the other- okay. Wow, that's a cool pose, Leon. We were talking about this topic the other day about how humans need nerf. So, people brought up Tearzoo, which is a YouTube channel that ranks different animals based on their strength in the game of life. Complete with, like, move analysis and graphs and everything. Now, I had seen a little bit of Tier Zoo, but not that much, not enough to, like, remember I had seen it. So I ended up watching it, and it is wonderful. I fucking love it. There is an episode released recently about geese, and how they're annoying, and somewhat overpowered, but not, like, you know... Not too OP. A little OP, but not too OP. Tierzu is now one of my favorite YouTube channels, based on that goose video. They recommend you choose, uh, you roll a swan instead. Because they actually have some physical strength, where geese are all intimidation, but no actual strength. And you can just strangle them. Or attack their neck when they peck. Is it unethical to strangle geese? Yes. But... What if a goose... There's always a but. I feel like th there should be a but for this situation. Let me explain. What if this goose... ...shat on your head, right? Intentionally. Well, we will never know if geese shit on people's heads intentionally. Could be. This goose shat on your head, starts harassing you and your family, pecks at you, breaks skin, won't leave you alone, and then, let's say you have a child, attacks your child. Now, a goose can possibly damage a child. I feel like if you're gonna defend... ...a child... ...from a goose, it's- you should be able to strangle a goose, and- and your conscience... ...will be just fine. You shouldn't worry too much about it. I'm not saying strangle the goose to death. If you can avoid that, that's- that's a situation- even though I don't like geese, I would still say don't kill geese. Strangle it a little bit until it stops choking your child, or pecking at your child. Cause what if your fucking kid loses an eye because of a smelly, shitty, fucking... ...hostile goose? Alright, now, okay, let's say you don't have a kid. What- what if it's just you? What if it's just you and a goose is still around? Pecking at you, shitting on your car, shitting, like, in your ear, you know, flapping its wings, just being a dick. I think even then, it's okay to grab a goose by the neck. And I'm not the authority on this kind of thing. This is just my philosophy on geese. Alright? Don't take this as word of God. I think it's, it's still okay to grab a goose by its neck and, like, with force, remove it from your person. You may damage it in the process, you might scare it off, but I think it's okay to grab the neck and, and give it a good yank. Get that fucking thing away from you. As little force as possible. Just to intimidate the goose away from your person. Or a light strangle. A sprint, sprint away. What if you, you know... 
What if you don't want to be intimidated by geese to the point where you have to run from them every time you see them? Sometimes you gotta stand up for yourself against a bully. You know, running can only get you so far when it comes to geese. I know. I mean, I don't know firsthand, but I know these things. And then they can fly after you, so that's why you gotta, you know, you gotta choke a bitch sometimes. Only geese, though. You should only choke geese. That's about it. And only under the very specific set of circumstances that I told you about. Alright? And if you call Peter and tell him about this, I don't know who it is, but I hear a lot about him. If you call Peter and tell him about this, we're done. We're not friends anymore. What circumstances can we choke a chicken? On the circumstances that you don't want to be led into the kingdom of God. Then I am a goose and I'm offended by what you've just said. Excuse me, you're a goose and you're watching my streams? Look at, uh, look at Homer Simpson. Look at the way he chokes Bart. What is that teaching our children? How many, how many people have been, like, choked because of Homer choking Bart? Because Homer is a role model to dads. I'm sure at least one person. Maybe two. Welcome. So what I'm trying to say is, what are you, boy? If Homer can choke is Bart, that <laughs> is that then we can choke our chickens. I mean, geese. I'm not going to be using this because I think it's very silly. And because I don't want to play this game with my face in it. It's just... No. How, how do you take this game serious? I want to enjoy the playthrough. How am I supposed to take it serious if I see my stupid face on Leon? With a vine shroom vest. It looks awesome. I'm sure there's people that are going to love to do this for some unknown reason. And Jackal did an amazing job. But... <sighs> I am Robocop. I shoot dicks. Oh. When do you stop being on fire? Oh, I didn't realize that actually being on fire turns you red. That's that's a cool detail. What was he doing in here? He's just, just chilling. Sauna. The meat's rotten, but I sure could use a fat, juicy steak right about now. Yeah, Leon hasn't eaten in like 24 hours. This is not a good time to think about meat, Leon. Really, inappropriate comment considering there's maggots on the meat. There's a place called Rollin' Roaster that I really like. They have roast beef sandwich with cheese. It's really, really good. And they have a sign outside of it that says peace and love in the parking lot. And I can't read peace and love without thinking of it as a threat from Ringo. Like my own stupid jokes. Oh, Ringo had something to do with this too, but now when I see peace and love, I don't take it as like, yeah, kumbaya, man. I see it as that I'm warning you. With extreme violence. She's been screaming this entire time. And probably for how, God knows how long before this. Can't they just arm all of these dudes? Why do they have to give them like wooden shields and maces and fucking... You know, like spiked balls. I feel like whoever is, you know, in charge of this island's security, they're not doing a great job. What in the world were they eating here? Um... Chef Boyardee... Pretzels... And just random meat? Is that...? <laughs> is that Doc Brown? And Marty from Back to the Future? Yes, it is! I'm telling you, dude! There's a guy named Pepe Sylvia! That's, that's a cool, uh, Easter egg. Even if it is just from the HD project team that did it. That's awesome. What are you selling? What are you bought? What are you what, what, what are you what are you doing? Leave me alone. Is that so yeah, the direct was great. I mean, it's really all I wanted was just a couple more characters and then Sakurai said that there were gonna be more characters after that. Pat from across the street is also going to be in the game. Steve is your dream character from Minecraft? Oh yeah. What the what kind of experiments are going on around here? This is awesome. It's just a Muppet. It's just a Muppet! His bodies must have been cryogenized. Cryogenized? 
I don't know. With the parasites still in their bodies, sucks to be them. Leon, you fucking dork. I, they just have monsters. They, they're, they're creating fucking monsters that live under your bed. Wow, that's trippy. One dude inside another dude's ass, performing the same motion. The same rocking motion back and forth. Tried to open the door by shooting it. Shame that didn't work. I still say that Ashley's one of the least annoying escort missions in video games because she doesn't get in the way. I mean, sure, she screams. She, you know, she says a lot of scream things, which is annoying. But when you're actually doing the, um, when you actually have her following you, she gets out of the way. She hides in a dumpster. She doesn't scream a lot. She doesn't say a lot. She's just, you know, it doesn't burden or hinder the gameplay, which is a very, I think, a good achievement. Oh, fuck. That does a lot of damage. Spiky fellow. <laughs> Thank Exclusive. You. Oh, man. I gotta get that. I'm saving up for it. I don't think I have... What are you selling? I don't think I have enough things to sell that I can make the money for that. <laughs> Thank you. But that is a now 100 ammo shotgun. Is that all? <laughs> 100! Like, come back. I will never have to reload this thing again, which means shotgun Maybe ammo is now a plague. Vinny, have you ever been scammed by someone on the street who tries to get you to listen to his SoundCloud raps? Okay, so... No, because I'm aware of what they do, which is... A lot of times they'll hand you one of their CDs. They'll give you their mixtape. And then as you start walking away and you say, oh, thank you. They're like, oh, that'll be $10. And then you say, no, no, take it back. They're like, no, 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 it's yours now. No, 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 no. How about, okay. All right. Eight bucks, eight bucks, eight bucks, eight bucks. No, you'll like it. You'll like it. And, you know, if you're not assertive, you might get scammed. You might not want to argue with someone in the street who just gave you a CD. You know, you could just give it back, or as some people in chat are saying, fuck you. You just say fuck you and then drop it. But if you think about it, let's think... Let's think this through. So, let's say five people a day buy your CD. That's not a lot. But th that's still 50 bucks. They may never listen to your music, but that's 50 bucks. How much does it take to make these things? A dollar fifty? Alright, now you sell ten. That's a hundred bucks a day. Alright. Say if you're in Times Square, and your hustle is like on point, and you're really good at it, and you <laughs> you get some really gullible people, you might make a couple hundred bucks a day. Fuck Times Square. Well, yeah. Yeah, fuck Times Square. Times Square serves as... a tourist trap. I always say it's worth seeing one time. Oh, here's the trash part. Um, it's worth seeing one time. You know, check, check, uh, check it out, take a look at it real quick. Look around, don't buy anything. And then leave, and go do real fun stuff in New York. Like, you know, get pissed on by a hobo. That's a good time. Have you ever met Spider-Man? I met the real Spider-Man, that's right. Yeah, he was in Times Square. The suit didn't fit, it was like really big. Yeah, Batman is there, Mickey Mouse is there. How many of those do you think are actually licensed and approved? Like, people with, like, registered licenses. As opposed to the amount of people that bought a smelly suit on eBay that doesn't fit them and they just walk around like busking for money. I want to see your Batman license now, sir. Perhaps you have figured it out already, but you might be able to get out of here by using the waste disposal vent. A creative way to tell me that, just in case the player doesn't figure it out. I'm sure in QA testing, someone was like, oh, what to do? And so they had to throw that in there. Give me free sub, Binyat. That message was removed because it was in all caps, but I read it. What is the one character from Resident Evil series that you would like for them to redo, story or character-wise? How about a game from Wesker's no way, perspective? Leon. Way. 
But way. The boulder, please. Yes, the boulder would be a good perspective. Are you out of your mind? I knew you'd be fine if you landed on your butt. <sighs> you. Shit. What is this? Shit, Shit Leon. She said butt. Also, there was some pretty fucking gnarly looking rubbish that we landed on. Did you notice the spikes? And the things with the hard edges? That's a pretty impressive... Impressive landing. That no one got injured or impaled. What is that thing? Don't worry about it. I just wanted to see. I wanted to see how long it would take. I've got the ammo to spare. separate them from that head, which just drags them down. It's an unnecessary thing. I feel like head explosions don't happen enough in video games. The way they happen in this game is so absurdly satisfying. And yet, it still never manages to reach the level of Chris Redfield punching a boulder. I think I talk about that like every stream when I stream this game, like, like, at least three or four times per stream. But it is an amazing moment. It, it's so hard to forget. The other moment I remember is the helicopter scene with Wesker. And it, it, like, yeah, started, like, transforming. Here. It's just, like, didn't he become, like, a big... A big fucking crazy, like, flesh dumpling? Yo, I got this. Chris could have punched right through this wall. <laughs> Oh, God, why is that funny still? Like, why is this still funny? Yo, is punching the boulder a way to describe jumping the shark for video games yet? I'm sure you've heard the phrase, jump the shark. But what you need to know is that Fonz from the Happy Days television show in its later seasons actually jet skied over a shark. That's what you need to know. It's important that you know that, because that's where it came from. And then after that happened, the show's quality never recovered. It took a, a real insane dive, and the writers just got more and more ridiculous. Now, there's an opposite to that, which is called growing the beard. When you grow the beard, that means that your show is actually improving. And that's based on Riker's beard from Star Trek The Next Generation. Because when Riker grew a beard, it's synonymous with the show's quality improving. He didn't have a beard in the first season. He had a beard in the second season, which, you know, was a decent beard. By the time the third season hits, Riker's beard was full and dignified. And the show's writing got really good. How's Vine Cult going? It's good, we're accepting new members all the time. Isn't a real cult illegal, though? There are rules against cults, right? I mean, there's got to be some kind of regulation. Right, like, like, how far is too far? Cults are very legal. Welcome. So, what if... Got a selection. What if you're sacrificing, you like, people? Or what if there's a comet that's about to arrive in a couple of years, and you decide that everyone needs to drink some very specific Kool-Aid? But it's a- it's a religious th thing. What if you blend beaver- I think it's just a matter of how far you go. So you can- you know, you gotta stop yourself. What are you buying? You gotta stop yourself just before you get to the beaver or the comet. Point, I think. Vinny, it's not okay to kill people, but it is okay to ruin their lives, apparently. Now, that's interesting. What we don't know is, cult has such a negative connotation. And this may sound like I'm trying to start a cult, but I swear it has nothing to do with that. Um, but what you don't know, what we don't hear about, because it's not as interesting... There probably are several cults, maybe many more than several cults, that are actually positive. 
and have helped people and actually make people very happy and don't ask them to do weird sex things or weird, like, Kool-Aid things, then they aren't cults? Wait a minute, so what would they be called if they're helpful? That's a club, not a cult? Got it. See, now this is good conversation. I like this chat. This is very good chat. I think you're confusing cults with Twitch streams. Oh, um... A cult is defined when it attempts to benefit off of people and harm them. Oh, like a pyramid scheme. I remember when, um, pyramid schemes came around a couple times. There was the, um, acai drink. It was like acai wine. And Wait, people were, were selling the fuck out of it. Ashley, you a fucking gangster. Yeah, acai is like some kind of berry that supposedly has like extreme health benefits, but um, there were like dudes going around selling it and trying to recruit other people to sell it. And their business model, their business model looked a lot like a pyramid, but they would be like, no, it's not, it's not a pyramid scheme. It's more like a triangle. What the fuck am I supposed to do here? So, very interesting uh, topic, but yeah, the acai thing was was very, very annoying, and it was like, again, everyone was trying to get people in on the acai thing, and it started out with like, oh, you should try this. It's very good. It's good for your health. And then later it was like, well, you know, you can make a lot of money if you start selling it because that's how you make money. You know, you can sign people up for stuff. So that they can, you know, get a sign-up bonus, and then you can get a sign-up bonus. So, it just got really, really silly, and it tasted like shit. So no one wanted to do it, and people just ended up losing money. Except for, like, you know, 35 people. At the top of the, uh, inverted... ...non-triangle. Also, wasn't there a movie called The Midnight Meat Train? Was that? Don't tell us the titles of the porn you watch, please. No, 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 it's a, it's a real movie. It was like a thriller. It was supposed to be a serious movie, like a horror movie, where this dude is on a train. I think it was Bradley Cooper. I remember. I don't know what made me think of it. I think the truck made me think of it, because I was thinking of calling the truck the meat wagon. But I remember seeing the preview for that in the theater. I thought it was a joke. I thought it was an actual, like, prank being played on the audience. Or... I thought it was like a snakes on a plane type situation. At least snakes on a plane kind of delivered. I had snakes. They were on a plane. Hey, God damn it, Ashley! Just give me a second. Jeez. No. I guess she didn't have a second. Here on the midnight meat wagon. Try it. Stop playing the shows, Bork. There you go. Vinny, I thought you were saying got them cheeseburgers when in that clip. I think I am. But people thought I said got them cheeseburgers, so I'm gonna stick with that one. I, how does that work? How does that work? Okay, let's really analyze it. I want to see if I'm saying goddamn or got them. Well, thank you, Winky. Goddamn cheeseburger! Goddamn cheese! Goddamn cheese! Goddamn cheeseburger! <laughs> no, my Fortnite's on Twitter. Yeah, definitely got them. I like goddamn cheeseburgers better, though. So we're gonna use that. This is the Laurel and Yanni of this generation. Generations are getting a lot shorter. I can feel them growing ever so strongly inside you. Sadler! Got the force. <laughs> Perhaps you can resist, but you cannot disobey. Now, come to me, Ashley. In Norts.
You think Sadler really didn't see that? I like villains that have a point. Villains that you can think about their motives for a little bit and then say to you, yourself, you know what, maybe. Probably not, but I get it. That to me is an interesting villain. So, you know, if Wesker wants to like remove everybody's head because, you know, He's got a good reason for it. I'm, I'm all ears. I want to know what the reason is. I don't have a specific reason, but I'm sure someone has a good reason why everyone should be loosened from their... their body, their head. Because you are your head. If, if you're anything, your head is you. And you are your head. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. If you know what I'm talking about, please email me at this web zone. Some villains just like to fuck people up. Well, you have different motivations. Wasn't there like a tier list of motivations at one point? And, you know, you have villains that are relatable and have a point. Villains that want revenge. Villains that are just like Skeletor, you know, who are just evil for the sake of being evil. Okay. Well, I was just... Well. Tom's got me killed, finally. I know they're bad for me, but I had roast beef sandwich with gravy and cheese. Trust me when I say it was necessary. An onion ring. Long time, comrade. But I've, I've cut down on my tum use by 30. I died in the crash two years ago. Is that what they told you? You're the one who kidnapped Ashley. You got John quick, as expected. After all, you and I both know where we come from. Um. Um. <laughs> and that's it. That's it. Game over. Uh, that's the end of Resident Evil 4. They didn't develop after this. Never setting my controller down again. This has happened to me in this game so many times. Comrade. Every time I play it. Enough talk. Die, comrade! But enough talk! Ada! Well, if it isn't the bitch in the red dress. Looks like we have the upper hand here. <laughs> well, I mean, he's got the force. You knew each other? More or less. Maybe it's about time you told me the reason why you're here? Maybe some other time. High levels of schlock. Mr. Kennedy, I'm not dead! Ah, I have an idea. Since you're here, why don't I introduce you to it? It should keep you busy. Can't remember the name, huh? Cousin It. A senior moment, perhaps. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy the fun. Schlock is huge. At least Sadler's got a good sense of humor about it. You know, he's laughing. He laughs on the outside, but inside he is crying. Sadler is the furthest evolution of Sponge. If you just put a mustache on Sadler, you, you would have Sponge. Sadler. I totally forgot that this was even in the game. After the movie Entrapment came out, this laser thing was in, like, every fucking game. Vinny, this seems more stupid than the boulder. It's a little stupid. Yeah, no, no, you're right. No, 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 it's it's stupid. Hello, and welcome to my castle. My name is Jarl Kennedy. What can I do for you, traveler? Sell some plants? No. Not, nah, dude, I might need ten full heals. You know, with Simon Belmont, now in Smash. And I know Capcom has their representative with Mega Man. Resident Evil is a huge fucking series. You have to wonder... ...how they would even be able to put Resident Evil in Smash Brothers. I think maybe, like... ...in the form of a stage, maybe? The series is a little bit more... 
over the top. Well, you know what? No. Just have Chris Redfield punching. That's it. Or Wesker vomiting, you know, disease. Holy fuck. This dude should be in Smash. Go! Bad touch. Leon, I solve everything by shooting at it, Kennedy. Oh yeah, I remember this part. This is- this is such a bizarre... This is such a bizarre set piece. It's cool... But... The practicality of it... Is- is funny. I, I know it's a video game, I know, I know, I know. But it just makes- it makes me laugh. Like, trying to figure out what this could have been used for. Another one. Bites the dust. I'm dust! Hey! Leon can just tank these hits, though. Oh my god. Okay, I don't remember this boss at all. I have zero recollection of this of this enemy. Whatever will I do? I only have 10 full heals. I wonder if it's a body heal or a head heal. Bro, do we have herbs? in... the real life? That are this good at healing? That can be rubbed on wounds? And have them regenerate instantly? Hello, fellow kids. Tell me, what kind of herbs do you have in your home right now? <laughs> Just asking, for fun. Who here has... Who here has cool herbs in their house? Oh, I see a couple of you. All right, this is the police. Cool herbs are legal where I live. Not federally. Okay, you know what? That's not true. You could be, what if you're in Amsterdam? And then you could rub the herbs all over as you regenerate your wounds. Chat, what would you rather have? Super healing? Like Wolverine? Or super jack-off ability? <laughs> Where <are> you <laughs> That's the same thing. That's Hugh, Hugh Jackoff. Oh, Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman ability from Wolverine is what I'm trying to say. Okay, so what would you rather have? Super healing? Where you can get hurt, but you feel the pain of getting hurt. You feel the pain of it, but then you recover and it doesn't hurt anymore. But it might... It might feel like death for at least... You know, a couple minutes every time. Or you have the ability to never overcook toast. Ever. You never burn it. You never burn toast. Yeah. Best toast you've ever had. Someone just said, I hate this chat so much because everyone said toast. Not enough cash. What? Not Stranger. enough dicks. <laughs> I don't know why people are laughing at not enough dicks. All right, a lifetime supply of ass, or the ability to never have pizza burn the roof of your mouth. You can eat it as soon as it comes out the oven, whenever you want, anytime, as reckless as you want to be. No burn. I'm talking about disembodied ass. I'm- I'm just like- like, disconnected ass. So you need to know the context of this before you answer, chat. Okay, let's get practical. Perfect toast. Every time. Or no so burn pizza. So, you two are all hooked up now, is that it? Those two Where's are Ashley? fair. Hurt me more, snake! Yo, did I shoot the arrow and make it explode? 
It's like about your fucking stupid hat. Just, I would love to have a full detailed documentary explaining how doors work that require, like, stone pieces to be put inside them. I'm sure there's some kind of very fascinating mechanism. I'm sure there's, like, a YouTube channel that would cover that. Magnets? That's basically magic. It's a real thing with pressure and magnets. No, I believe it. I'm, you know, just really wondering. Like, I'd love to know how that mechanism works. In detail, not just pressure and magnets being the answer. Miracles? <laughs> okay, thanks. Low-key memeing? This isn't freestyle memeing. That's for goddamn sure. What do you intend to do restoring Umbrella? To bring order and balance to this insane world of ours. Oh my god. A psycho like you can't bring order or balance. You don't seriously think a conservative mind can chart a new course for the world, do you? <laughs> what is this writing? It's an attempt to give the villain depth, like, so that he has some kind of ulterior motive that isn't just evil, evil, evil. But it is, like, it's a strong, like, muscular, shirtless soldier, injured soldier man, commando, who can, like, survive 30 bullets to the chest. Because when you work out that much, you absorb the bullets. The thing is, this, this, I don't know if this would work. I don't know, like, if this would work if the gameplay and the rest of the package wasn't so fucking perfect. It's the parasite. Oh yeah, he does have the Plagas, but he doesn't have enough that it turned him into, like, Santa Claus just yet. Santa Claus is not real, and Jesus did not happen. Like, he's not a mindless zealot with the Plagas. He's just enhanced. Also, was this motherfucker in other Resident Evil games? Like, I don't- like, I don't know the history- Whoa! Darkseid Chronicles came after RE4. Oh, so he was introduced in this game... ...as if Leon just knew who he was already, and then he was fleshed out later. Some would say he's already fleshed out, because he's got so much... ...muscle mass. I don't remember the drones being in this game. This is like the scene from Attack of the Clones where R2-D2 and C-3PO are on the treadmill. That's a scene that I forgot about for like... 15 years. I thought it was a deleted scene. No, the conveyor belt, conveyor belt. And like, Anakin and, and Natalie... Blah 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 blah. Uh, have to... Uh, jump on the conveyor belt. Shh, can't really get in close enough. Whoa! No! Fuck off, crazy! Fuck off! <laughs> I didn't even shoot you in the chest. Did you really think I'd trust an American? Only in Nords. Hey, it's about time. Sorry, bad traffic. I'll cover you. There he is. What a plan. What a strategy. Keep in mind, this is a gunship with rockets and chain guns. So let's kill two dudes by knocking into, pulling a risky maneuver and knocking into a fucking water tower. Okay, no, that was a good maneuver. Mike is badass. That's who's the helicopter pilot. Mike is his name. Now that's what I call backup. My name's Mike. You're looking for firepower, you come to the right place. How you doing? My name's Mike. Oh, I looks like I disappeared. Oh well. Why don't you get some Polish water ice? It's the best on the boardwalk. That's right, my name is Polish Water Mike. So, you know, as cool as this part is, and it's a really good action set piece for the end of the game... This isn't Resident Evil, as we knew it. This- this is something different. And it's good! You know, it's still... 
thrilling and, and uh, it fits it fits the game because we've let you know we've built up to this moment. Um, but it does it gets a little much. But then Capcom was like, hey, why don't we make two games based on that ending from Resident Evil 4? I know it's really loud. I don't know why the volume of this game suddenly increased by like 20%. Like I wonder if the, the volume was just holding back. Like, you know, they, they were like, oh, let's make it low so that way we can make it louder later. Oh my god. Nope. Didn't need hearing after this. My life has been leading up to this. I guess I won't need my ears anymore. What the fuck is happening anymore? You know you know what I find shocking? I just noticed the viewer numbers. From Beverly Hills Cop to Resident Evil 4 went down by about 1,200. I guess I really don't know what people want anymore. They were Beverly Hills Cop enthusiasts. Like, the entire Beverly Hills Cop game community was there for that. You have a very strange audience, my dude. Well, like people are saying in chat, uh, they probably were just here to watch me suffer. Like a, a special occasion kind of thing. Nope, we never really get a good look at this dude. Some say it's... Al Albert Krisker Redfield. In disguise. Thanks. When we get out of here, drinks are on me. Yeah, hey, I know a good bar. Well. No, you don't. Not anymore. Everything you knew... Mike! ...is now just flames. I've never cared more about a character in a video game until Mike from Resident Evil 4. I'll make sure you're the next to go, Sadler. Sadler, you bastard! It's nothing to get all upset about. No bastard written there? Don't tell me you've never swatted a bothersome fly. I don't even remember yes, that reference. It's the same thing. That's amazing. Pornhub has announced that it will be compatible with the Switch if Nintendo ever released a browser. That announcement means that Nintendo will never release a browser for the Switch. That just doomed it. And what does that mean exactly? Pornhub will be compatible with the Switch. I don't... I mean, yeah, it's got a browser on it. If it has a browser, then it's... Yeah, of course it's compatible. Like, is, is it going to be, like, special Switch features? Crystal charging minigames? HD rumble? For what? <laughs> oh, no. Someone just said they were peaceful. These Zambabos wanted nothing to do with this conflict. They were outliers. Kneecaps. Yeah, if I sound like I've run out of energy, I kind of have a little bit. It's been a long day. Woke up semi-early after a weird sleep with some, like, bizarre, non-remembered dreams. Drove to a fucking aircraft museum. Gave a lecture in a planetarium about memes. And then met a bunch of strangers that know ten times more about me than I know about them. And then drove an hour and a half both ways. Well, more like an hour and ten minutes. Why about memes? No, <laughs> I mean, it was, you know, it's a panel. I could talk about whatever. I just, it was a Q&A, so... Every now and then, someone will ask about a meme. So it was like, meme, and then real question. Meme, real question. I wonder how they direct the voice actors to do these really bizarre screeches. Like, how do you inspire an actor to do a screech like that? I mean, aside from me, which it just comes natural. We know, dude. We know. Kicked it in the tentacle meatus. I might have enough to buy that final upgrade. Sell healing? That could help. I've been I've been hoarding the healing for just such a reason. Donate sperm. That's not a bad way. Can you do that in this game? Leon is a super soldier, so maybe they want that sperm so they can create more like a clone, like a twin snake. You know? The ultimate soldier. It's in our genes, brother! 
You've been killing all of your brothers, brother. It's me, Liquid Kennedy. Ask not what your pluggers can do for you, Lois. <laughs> I'm taking Ashley back, whether you like it or not. Ah, oh, the audacity of youth. Wow. <coughs> Matrix. How about shoot him in the face? Leon, now! Oh, there's the famous quote. Bulletproof robes. Okay, that looks awesome. It just dropped out of his... What was that? Move! Oh, the Let's bullets. Go. Oh, he just absorbed them. And then dropped them out of his hand. Fire and bulletproof robe. I guess we're not gonna be talking about what happened there, Ashley. We'll just leave it unspoken. Got a selection of good things on what are you selling? I never let this poor guy finish his sentence. So the Is power goes to <laughs> 50. Thank you. Almost double the power on this revolver. Come that's going to be anytime. that's gonna be very good. Very good. Oh, <laughs> looks like I didn't need to sell everything I sold. Leon, now! I, I feel like... They just stopped paying Ashley's voice actress. This hunk of junk? Oh, I, I don't know never about mind. This, Leon. There's only like, one way to find out. Why isn't there you more dialogue about, like, how they've been? How you been, Leon? Oh, I've been just strapped to a chair for a while. It's a kind of... kind of shitty. Everything's fine. They didn't feel the parasite. Like, you know, stabbing you okay? at their innards. Melted parasite in your chest cavity. Well, what did Lewis say? Maybe death is a reasonable alternative. I wonder if the more enlightened of the goons might have like discovered this machine and decided, you know what, maybe I don't want that parasite anymore. Maybe there's one or two goons that just used it and like was like, you know what, this is stupid. No, but you must drink the Kool-Aid, please. So that whole thing with the Kool-Aid from what was it? The it was the Jonestown thing, wasn't it? I wonder how that affected Kool-Aid sales. Did it increase Kool-Aid sales? Did it decrease? It was Flavor-Aid, sure, but people still called it Kool-Aid. Someone in chat just said they made a killing. I like that joke. That is a good joke. It's extremely fucking dark. But considering we just got parasites removed from our bodies, I'll take it. A good, terrible, awful jokes. But, no, really, does anyone know if, like, did Kool-Aid ever release the information? Probably not, right? Like, they wouldn't say that they got increased sales. It wasn't actually Kool-Aid, though. I know, I know that, but it became synonymous. When you say drink the Kool- Drink the Kool-Aid is now in our lexicon. Even if it was Flavor-Aid, it doesn't sound as good. I still haven't found- uh, this may, you know, not be, uh, the best <laughs> segue I've ever done, but... Uh, I still haven't found a flavor sub supplement that is low sugar, that is anywhere near decent. I drink coffee and water, and that's pretty much it. You know, like a cup of coffee, and then the rest of the day is more or less just water. I'm sick of the fizzy drink for now. Uh, I don't really care for, like, iced tea every now and then. Cyanide. Very good. So, did someone just say mayo? Why is that the first thing I see when I look over in chat? Someone says, use mayo. Do you guys have Vimto over th I don't know what that is. That's- that's my name. Aside from it being my name, I don't know what that is. 
Still, we would be able to conquer the country as planned using our backup plan. Once we control the country, we will use their international influence to our advantage. The rest of the world will fall swiftly. This is like my first evil plan written by Tucker, age 12. As already stated, if our first plan doesn't go as smoothly as expected, we'll proceed with our secondary plan. By sending in our special forces, we will infiltrate the country from within. Fear and chaos will spread through the nation like a virus. Oh, wait, no, this is a plot. This is the plot to Invasion USA with the Chuck Norris movie. It's very convenient, though. I mean, it's nice to have that written out just in case it wasn't spelled out. You know, just leave it lying around in some random, like, grotty hut. Knowing specifically that a very real threat to every plan you have made so far is still on the loose. I can imagine, well, not imagine, it's confirmed. There are people that, that, um, that get angry with me. There are people that get angry with Vinny, it's just a video game. God, why do you have to go into so much detail about it? God, Vinny, it's a video game. Oh, gotta find something to talk about. <laughs> gotta find something to talk about for four hours a night. Also, I genuinely enjoy picking apart the little logic holes because video games are a special breed. And I mean that lovingly, but also, you know, one of the reasons this was such a, a difficult thing for people to get into is because it just seems so silly from the outset. You know, if you didn't grow up with video games and then you watch Something's not right. Metal Gear, for Ashley, example, you you're like, wait, here. what? Meet staff. Because hmm. I shouldn't have left that machine. Is that one's getting old. You okay? I've been better. <laughs> What's so funny? Oh, I think Throw's you knife still has knife. The American prevailing is a cliche that only happens in your Hollywood movies. Oh, Mr. Kennedy, you entertain me. To show my appreciation, I will help you awaken from your world of cliches. <laughs> See what I mean? This is what I'm talking about. I love it. It's so cheese house. Oh, that's fair. Thanks, dude. Surprisingly, not that much damage for something that looked that brutal. Use this. The red rocket. Excuse me, Sadler. Let me just uh, get in here real quick. Now that's a lot of damage. Don't worry. I'll take good care of it. Data. Gotta go. If I were you. I get off this island. No, this isn't Mike. This is uh Fight Bowl. Really pushed it. Here, catch. Better get a move on. See you around. People are saying to do the jet ski glitch. Uh I would love to. I don't know what that means. Do the striker glitch, then get on the jet ski. So, oh oh, so what I'm doing. Also, this again, visually, really nice update to this location. Now I just have to find out where the fucking jet ski is. Does anyone know where the jet ski is? Email me at this web zone. If you know where the jet ski is. Go down? Go down where? Oh, the big elevator? Oh, that's an elevator. Oh, that's, that's fine. I got plenty of time. And, and I'm glitched. So I got even... We have to get off this Ashley, now. you gotta keep up. Because I am what? fucking zip-zooming to the jet ski. Oh shit, the merchant. Is he gonna be okay? Is the merchant gonna be all right? Hang on, sweetheart. So, what is the, what is the glitch entail? Does it make the jet ski faster, or it didn't work? Oh, shit! 
That's a graphical glitch. It takes off without her. Oh, man. Okay, I'll show it during the credits. Let's just take this jet ski to the United so, uh, States. after you take me back to my place, how about we do some, um, overtime? <laughs> Sorry. Somehow I knew you'd say that, but it doesn't hurt to ask, you know? So, who was that woman anyway? Why do you ask? Come on, tell me. She's like a part of me I can't let go. Let's leave it at that. Sorry. Hang on, sweetheart. <laughs> so yeah, what can we say? Uh, this game is fucking awesome, and I loved it just as much now as I did when I first played it. The HD Project version of this, I can say, is the definitive version. Um, yes, the game crashed the first time I tried to stream it, and it was really fucking annoying, but I did not have a single problem after that. Yeah, one of my favorite games for sure. I I'd put it in my top 20, maybe. Somewhere in there. I, you know, this amorphous top list that I have that I never really flesh out. Or, you know, and it morphs too. It's not always... It's not always static. Almost a thousand enemies killed. And I got killed 31 times.